actually be curious what a diagram would, would look like where you map Chan popularity against Chan lewdness because I think the non-lewd ones are most popular. Who's, who's queen of the Chans? It's gotta be Fido, right? Fido's not that lewd. Fido is suggestive. Anyway, how's it going? How's it going, uh, phone fappers? I have questions. I have questions. If you use your phone for that, your your everyone has a burner one, right? Like, are you are you calling it like your your one iPhone, or or your Android, or are you rocking it old school and you have a Bimbo's phone? Like, what are you doing? I can't I can't imagine. Like, how are you cleaning your phone? How do you afford a fucking burner phone with the phone? It's not about buying a burner phone. It's about just keeping one of your old phones when you've upgraded your phone and then you use the old phone as as the as the fat phone. What do you mean cleaning your phone? You don't clean your phone? Who, who, what do you mean you don't clean your phone? We don't hold it next to the business? Oh, I'm sorry. So l l let me just like, like uh, paint a very careful picture, all right? So. You're about to get down to business to defeat the Huns, or defeat the Honeys, and uh, you uh, you uh, you know have have your phone in one of your hands, and what you you make your selection, and then you just like gently place it down and like it at a good angle, and then you just go to town in business, and then okay, and and then you just don't touch the phone after that, after the hands have already you know gone to places. What if, what if you, what if you decide to, okay, two, all right, so two hands, all right, good, I'm glad you brought that up. So you, one hand is devoted to interacting with yourself, and the other, the other phone is devoted to, like, operating the phone? And it's like Ghostbusters, you can't cross the streams, you can, you can, you, you there's, there's never any switching. Sounds boring as hell. You just hold the phone. Okay, all right, hold on, okay, I'm sorry, I can, okay, I can only talk to, to, to the, the, uh, the penis enjoyers in the chat okay, that that's not that's not specific enough uh people who have a penis in chat okay because <laughs> you can enjoy one without having one <laughs> if if you are i don't understand if if you if one hand is you know on your operating system and the other hand is on the phone's operating system how are you you know Catching the out ball in left field at the end of of the event, you know, like what 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 do you mean? If both hands are in like qu question, what do you? Mean? Why am I getting question marked? What do you mean? H how how else could, do I have to say this? What tissue? What do you mean tissue? Which what, third hand is holding the tissue? You need to catch it in midair. What, what what are you talking about? Hold on, are you are you people like? Okay, we, we might be getting into territory that's a little too explicit. <laughs> okay, all right, hold on, hold on. Okay, so let let let, let us let us assume that the, that the phone is in your right hand, okay, and you are uh, you know um, shaking hands with the president with your left hand, okay. Are, are you like holding like the tissues at the ready like in the same left hand like you just like the tissues are just there the whole time What I don't I don't understand like like uh, who, What? No, okay. No. All right. So when when is the phone leaving your right hand? So, you know you you switch from one-handed to two-handed like what, what, what are you doing? You finished and clean up afterward what? It's just, it's just like, fucking like, like into the ether, is it? Just like, oh, hope it doesn't go too far. Like, what, what do you mean? What? I just close my eyes and think of Jesus. G good luck, room. Like, what do you mean? You put your phone down. Okay, all right. So you put, you put your phone down. Okay, maybe I'm learning I'm weird. Like, biologically. <laughs> You put your phone. Okay, if you put your phone down, if you put your phone down, and now you have you, now both hands are involved in this in in this in the situation, right? Okay, and what the phone is just still going off on on the side, like it's still going. How at what point do you like? All right, is it like oh this finger has to be dedicated to staying clean? L let let me carefully Mission Impossible down to hit stop. Like what are you doing? How how are you cleaning your phone? You don't come on the phone. Well, I would I would hope not. Yeah. Joe, the phone doesn't go off. It's showing a 160k word erotic novel. If I'm not scrolling, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Why? Why would you do that? Just, just close your eyes and think of one yourself. What are you doing? Okay, maybe I'm weird. If 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 I don't if I don't have you know a a, a a bulletproof tissue ready to go, like I'm I'm putting a hole in the wall. Like, well, what the hell? It's it's like Angry Birds. Like I'm telling you, there's there's an arc. Like what? Like I, I don't I don't understand. Just go in the toilet. What do you mean? Just go in the toilet? What? Who's 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 letting loose in in? Who's letting the kraken out at the toilet? What? What the? F My dude, I I'm the weird one. I'm I'm the weird one here. Uh, me, I'm the weird one for not just free jizzing into the toilet. What? Oh my God, Lily's here. <laughs> Lily, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. If there was a discharge right now, if a gun went off, and I'm standing here, how far do you think it's gonna go? They, they don't even. They don't even prep. They just. just I don't understand. They just let I, it go. I don't understand. The they just, they I'm just, scared. They just let it go. You're scared. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? That's that's fair. I don't know. I like. I, that's fair. Like, when I pee, like, I don't have aim. That's fair. <laughs> you know, I have to sit down. So, that's for what you're talking about. I, I cannot really. <laughs> I think we went too far with this one. <laughs> It's like to them it's like going to the toilet. They just they just aim it in the toilet. I can't imagine that. Who's doing that? My mouth is agape from this. Yeah, at, at the degeneracy of people in chat, right? Like they're so weird. They're so weird, right? No jokes. How am I the weird one? Real talk, you should be wiping your phone with a microfiber cloth every once in a while, regardless of if you're Yeah, I know I do. That's why I'm asking like like or like what's your phone cleaning budget if you're doing this stuff? Like Unless you're so like this, this is the this is the isolated hand that has nothing to do with this going on. But if that's the case, then I have even further questions. I never want to touch any of your phones ever. Why would you finish on the screen? Ooh, why are you so obsessed with this? No one's saying that you are. Is it there's going to be some level of contamination unless you're just like your your dexterity is level fifty? Like you're just gonna you didn't know I didn't. I never said that anyone is finishing on the screen. No one, no one said this. I didn't say this. No objection. No. Play the tapes back. Fucking uh, I can't even remember his name from Joe Rogan podcast now. When he says Jamie, Jamie, pull that shit up. I I didn't say any of that shit. I just said there might be some cross contamination on your fucking hand. That that's all. No, just do not touch the phone with that hand. All right, so let's go through it again. So so you have finished, but you haven't turned your phone off because you haven't touched the phone. So like, so you're going to go off and clean yourself up and it's like, what? Like, like minutes that your phone is just like, what? Your phone is having a turn while you're gone? Like, what, what do you, do you throw a pillow over or something? Like, what are you doing? It's not that hard. Well, I guess that would be easier to pull off the operation then if that's the case. Yeah. Bonus, uh, 12 minutes illustration. Was that game real? I'm not sure. It might be a bonus, but too, poo, too good. Uh, to not, not put first. I love this expression. 12 minutes sucked. That was really bad. Joe, you can just lock the phone. With, with what? Your voice command? Siri, Siri, I'm, I'm done. Like, please lock the phone. Yes, Joe, locking phone. Like, how, how, how are you doing this? Your clean hand. How do you, how do you have a clean hand? How do you have a clean hand? How do you have a, like, so you're so convinced you have a, I don't understand. This, this face is the face I'm, I'm doing right now for judgment of all of you. Oh man, I, ho I hope none of you are watching this on your phone. Sleeping Pill Chan, main character of 12 minutes reposted and edited uh, because I added shading and lesbian undertones. What is a lesbian undertone? I was going to ask something, but then I realized we weren't Rabbi Ra Rabbi Ribby anymore, and that make me the weird one. Adorable design. Thank you so much. So this is a uh, sleeping pill chant. Yes, yeah, sleeping pill chan from tw from twelve minutes. Gave your wife a good night's sleep. That's true. She did. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Is is any is anyone with me? Am I am I completely alone here? Do I do I have any support whatsoever? The poll was like 90 10 against you. That was just the phone one yesterday. You went too far. Absolutely, I absolutely did go too far. I'm uncomfortable. We went too far. What's Dragon's Den going on right now? Oh, they're talking about Ascensions and Evolve. Oh, that's based. Which one was was best, by the way? <laughs> I thought of these like 
<laughs> while it was walking the dogs before the street. <laughs> One iPhone, Android, or Bimbo's phone? I think Android is the best. Missing both of Nokia's OS as well. Well, if you have a Nokia phone, you're using it for something else. I, uh, all right, thank you very much, Simzy. Thank you, thank you. Parody on Twitter, shared by Simzy. I'm stealing your sofa for a bit. I posted my design of Sleeping Pill Chain on Twitter and my friend, per, per, I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong, Peru per, Ready on Twitter drew her. Check her out if you like the style. Is this the, the first ever accidental jart? Who can say? Someone jarted? 18 plus Twitter is 18 plus. I cannot stress enough that Twitter is 18 plus. Is this a warning or a recommendation? Again, don't go there on your phone. I reached out to Peru for confirmation if you show this and the, and the one thing that stood out to me, oh, holy crap, that's actually awesome. I had no idea to be honest. Honestly, I'm not all familiar with streamers and stuff. Oh, I hope, I, hope they don't, I hope they don't come here and be like, oh, I wonder how it went down. Let me watch the whole stream until it gets to the part where they show my fan art. Oh, great. Oh, what the hell are they talking about? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Can you explain what is a bimbo's phone? If you're too metaphoric, just say it bluntly. It's it's really simple. It's that Windows phone and is, is an old type of phone. I don't think they even make them anymore. And Windows just sounds like bimbo's. That's it. That's that's the that's the tweet. That's the joke. Okay? That is the only that is the only thing I could think of that was somewhat lewd that, that could that could fit with Windows, okay? That's it. It's it's not the best one, but hey, at least I had something, alright? Back in the day there were Windows phones. Minus two, yeah, you know what? It is probably worth a minus two. Should have been Himbo's phone, maybe Himbo's phone. Hey, I I'm here every single day, like like with with the fresh new jokes. All right, they can't all be bangers. All right, they can't all be plus twos. All right, you gotta take some minus twos. You gotta take all the shots. If we don't take any shots, there, there can be no no more plus twos. I am apo profusely apologizing to the new person who made this. As as if you're not equally guilty here, Kay. Come on. I had no idea to be honest. Honestly, I'm not familiar with streamers and stuff, but I'd be down to give them a watch because the idea of making inanimate objects into anime girls is fun. Oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe it's okay. Welcome. Welcome, Piru. You know what? You're you're gonna fit in just fine. It's you know what? It's okay. Yeah, alright. We're uh, saved. Saved. Alright. Congrats, Joe. This is your reputation now. Yeah. There there are worse things. I'm stealing your sofa for a bit. <laughs> And the pill earrings. Ah, uh, I like that. That's cute. To any prospective fan artist, remember that Joe has explicitly outlawed Cum Chan. That's true, and I can't believe I had to say it. Yep, that that's that's true. That's true. That that is true. That 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 we said the, there was a line there. Although I did cross the line today, and I'm feeling uncomfortable. But why? What do you mean? But why? Today. What the fuck? Dump truck chan? Ugh. It's waifu X. By Simzy, last one. Why is my husband so mean to me? Oh, it's oh I know. I thought it, for some reason I thought it was Makoto because of the because of because of the hair. Okay, yeah. The 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 wife did have cake in in the uh, in twelve minutes. And also gave cake to uh, as a dessert to to the to the player. Um, thank God we don't have to deal with imager terms of service. What about Twitch's terms of service? I'm about to get banned off this site. Yeah, me too. This isn't a joke, Simzy, for the crime of naming two files image.png that I can't keep in the same folder. I'm renaming this to Simzy. Uh... <sighs> are those are those what? <sighs> How did reading it make it worse? Anyway, thank you, Simzy. I'm moving on. I regret drawing her. I I'm not keen on where the game went. I regret. <laughs> I regret playing it. I don't like. I don't like where the streams went. <sighs> thank, thank you, Simzy. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Gav. Thank you, Clive. Alright, is the next one gonna be horny as well? In a way. By paddle, Lily Daggers. Oh, it's Lily Dag Daggers from uh, from uh, Darkest Dungeon 2. That was a good name, Lily Daggers. 
I really like the design and art on this. I'm still in disbelief that Joe survived that. The economy is in shambles. Yeah, so this is, um, was this uh, not shown before or is it a, a, a uh, drawn much later fan art? Oh man, that's gorgeous. Just like Lily herself. Uh, so Darkest Dungeon 2 stream was actually pretty, pretty poggy. Um, pulled off some, some cool shit at the end. Joe is a dendrophil, isn't he? Thanks to, uh, to Genshin, I think I know what that means. Uh, I, I am not. I, I, I love Lily, not Lilies. I will say though, this is probably the first time that, that, um, the, the Lily head flower design, uh, isn't making me uncomfortable. Usually it's kind of like, like, horrific, you know? Wow, rude. How is it rude? How is it rude? There's plenty of fantastic art that makes you uncomfortable. This is what I thought Joe's bedroom setup looked like. Gruff narrator voice. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. God, the Lily Dagger's design is so good. Isn't it? Added stealth. <laughs> uh, this is somewhat close, actually. Like, uh, I am in the corner um, on the other side of the bed, and the door is on, on the other side of the room. Um, so yeah, you are you are somewhat close. I think it's uh, it's inverted though Depending on where you look at it. Yeah, so if you, if you look at the if you if you're standing here and you see the pillows I am on this side of the bed and I'm right in the corner next to the window and the door is over here <laughs> That's great shadow fade to the face. Oh shit nice nice After she uh, she snuck up on me too, but that was in the basement We don't we don't have a couch uh, we had a couch, but it got destroyed. Um, instead, we have one one huge big beanbag chair. Like saying calling it a chair is not is not fair. Like it's like a big, it's like almost like a big beanbag couch. And Yoshi has just been like just sleeping all over that, so he's he's uh he's pretty comfortable down there. Maybe we shouldn't let him do that, but like he seems happy. There's also an armchair down there, and he's been on there too. And Yoshi is like the, the the nervous dog. He's like Gandhi, man. Like, if Yoshi is ever in trouble, he just he just won't eat his next meal. And I don't mean like, oh, he's in huge trouble. I mean just just, just a simple thing of like drop that you know bad dog, and that, that's it. Like he he's like hunger strike. Like I don't understand. Oh uh, yeah, I'm worried about him too. Like yeah, I, I don't like it either. Yeah, but Gatsby's a more confident dog, and um, and he is not as comfortable downstairs. <clears throat> but he he seems at ease, uh, even if he's not sleeping on the furniture. Anxious? Yeah, he's a bit anxious. Poor dog. Lunatic eyes. Aw, oh, man. Joe, when he's evolve idling, got so bored watching the Final Fantasy 16 vods that I started doodling. Who knew that the world had such wonderful streams? <laughs> uh, thank you. The sh the shade against me or the game or both. I don't know a thing about Evolve Idol, so the best thing I could I could think to go with the visual is to return to the topic of 12 minutes in the fan art. Let's go. Uh-oh. No. Really? No. No. No, 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 no. Oh man, look look, look at the expression and the, the, the skull cloud too. Oh, that's, that's cool. All right, are we going back to 12 minutes, really? We are, but it's safe. By Retro Dragonfly. I love how intentionally hilarious the game is. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Hands behind your back. Let's go, babe. Help. Mmm. So good. I love you so much. So good. <laughs> the dessert. <laughs> Gotta help yourself to a nice dessert. Then help yourself to a nice Will William Defoe. Then you help your wife, babe. 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 Oh, baby, I love you. 12 minutes, 12 minutes, I think, is the birth of a new category of ranking streams. I think 12 minutes is a great stream to watch at times two speed. Or maybe that needs to be like, better, better, like fantastic as a highlight, maybe. Is it like, maybe we need a category like that? I thought it was fine, except for uh, the game itself being a saying, yeah, maybe it wasn't that bad, I don't know. I was watching part of the stream back, yesterday's stream back with the dogs yesterday, and I thought yesterday's stream was, was, uh, was a bit slow, and then I watched it back, and I was like, "No, it was pretty good, actually. Like there were there was some some good moments and some good jokes." The American Heart Association was amazing. Speaking of that, oh, oh, oh Nikito Luck, oh, oh, awesome! I saw this one before, and I didn't know if it was next. By Piggy Wiggy, American Heart Association showed up in the chat and said, "Stop helping him." 
What American Heart Association Chan does in her spare time. Man. Hot nurse outfits are so gross. Please, please, I would be so owned if you started putting more Chans in hot nurse outfits. I would be so owned. Please don't do it. I don't want to be owned. No, don't do that. So, oh, I would be so upset. Oh, no, don't do that. The whiplash of seeing the AHA show up and <laughs> go, oh, my favorite game. It's a rage quitting the stream. Calling you insane was incredible. Wait, they did what? Love the work. Thank you. Heavy rain, heavy rain, heavy rain, heavy rain, heavy rain. Did they really? I know that there was one chatter that, uh, that was really upset <laughs> and was just like their favorite game. I didn't know the American Heart Association was uh, was pissed. Is 12 minutes how, how long you have to resuscitate someone before they're dead? Is, is that why they like it so much? They got really mad at you for playing it wrong. Was I even playing it wrong? I think it was just being a little bit of a brainlet. I'm not sure. I hope you don't need a heart transplant in America. You ever read those stories about people who have ha had heart transplants? And after they have the heart transplant... Some something of their personality or their tastes changes. Like they like I, I read one once that was um and this is probably the most famous example of someone who like they hated spicy food and then they got a heart transplant and then after that they really really wanted spicy food all the time, and like is that bullshit? And if it isn't bullshit, like I don't think you can. There's no way that anything of the other person that you get the transplant from can come over to you. Is it just having an organ change can just change you somehow? I mean, maybe it can. Maybe, maybe it can change like how your biology interacts with itself. Not because it's like like you know um, fanaticism inheriting anything from the heart that you just got, but because just the change itself can 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 cause ripples. Like being pregnant can really mess up your body too like in really really strange ways like the one i always go to because because it's so wild to me is that some people when uh, when they're pregnant they um their hair color changes like th that's just incredible to me like how, how the hell does getting pregnant make your hair color change like like what like it's it's uh it's it's nuts really yeah yeah uh, when when Lily was pregnant, her her hair um, uh, on her head thickened a lot. Um, she had uh, a lot of new growth of hair. That that's a very common thing that happens when you're pregnant too. So I wonder if maybe getting uh, a major organ transplant will cause a, a similar change in in your body's like makeup or whatever, and that can can lead to kind of weird symptoms where your your taste buds change or something. I should get pregnant then. There's also, I think, I don't know if this is the theory or if it's proven. I can't remember. I didn't really look into that much, even though it was interesting. I probably should have. <clears throat> There's something about um, uh, when, you, when you're pregnant, <clears throat> the, uh, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, I'm going to sound in, like an idiot if this is wrong, but I'll just say it anyway. I don't know if it's something about the stem cells or something to do with, with being pregnant um, triggers a big uh, r repair response in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the mother's body. So... If, um, like, there's one theory that that's why women live tend to live longer than men, is that <clears throat> the be, the act of being pregnant can be this 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 uh, period of rejuvenation for 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 the body. Um, bone marrow transplants can affect genetic tests, if I remember correctly. Oh, can it really? Oh man. By Sam, Sam, and unintellectual say it every single time. The American Heart Association does not approve of sleep pill sleep pilling Willem Dafoe. They do, however, approve of saying mean things to Twitch <laughs> Twitch chat. <laughs> I I feel like I'm behind on my own stream lore here. I feel like I missed a stream. What was going on with the American Heart Association in chat? I didn't even know they were there until the end of the stream. Hello there. Care to have a drink? Pretty please. Ooh, woo, babe. Oh boy, it's my lucky day. I really did think that we were going to be able to... It wasn't just a bit. I thought, what the hell is going on with the ears here? I really thought that we were, we were going to be able to trick him uh, somehow into taking the sleeping pills via dessert or drink or or some method. Should I DM you it? Well, if you DM me it, I'm never going to read it. So, you know, I would prefer to, to get the information somehow. User American Heart Association. All right, 37 messages. All right, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> First message at uh, 526. I love this game, I forgot all about it. It's so good. Lol, lol, lol. Hi, smiley face. Thanks for the gift sub, JPH Jam. You made the American Heart Association jam? Yes, let's save her with death. Kill her in the house and you can't stop flushing the toilet. Bro, what? This is not the answer. 
Bro, in what world does this fix anything? Kappa, 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 Kappa. Don't live with this guy, I guess. We already did, and now everything is burnt. This man is not a chef. No more cooking for him. Put someone else in the kitchen. Completely unhinged. Don't find this guy in person for sure. Yes, stir the candle. Bro, I just run the Twitch channel. Who would have thought, all caps. Bro, she is way too aggressive. Bro, we're making moves now? Surely. Bro, nah, please, bro. Stop helping him. Bro, no. He literally said, get good. God, I hate hearing those kissing noises. Bro, please get it together. What if, right? Hash it, had it, if, hash, had it, if, hash it, had it, if, wife of you. Dot, 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 sir. Unhappy Kirby face. Excellent question, Karen. Bro, what do you think? Oh, wo 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 woo hoo! This lady is dumb. For real, for real. The Dude, this was. I thought this was the whole stream. This whole thing happened in 20 minutes. What is the fucking like like M Night Shyamalan fucking twist was that? That was 20 minutes of chat. They went on a journey. Retro Dragonfly. I just played 12 minutes. He's angry. <laughs> Made some Joe Ball sketches during stream. Thank you. Thank you to Lek. Lek underscore for the idea. Oh, it's it's like a Dragon Ball, like an eyeball Dragon Ball. Oh, that's neat. That's cute. I like that. Um, one of my favorite parts of yesterday's stream was when we were talking about how he didn't have to have an eye removed in order to get that because the because Iba or or Tama can just come out of the eye socket, and there was at least I think maybe two or three people in chat that showcases this problem with when it comes to discussing um problems in fiction where they just they just go along with the status quo and don't and don't think about it enough because they just accept it and i do that too sometimes don't get me wrong i'm not i'm not like criticizing you and, and calling you super and like that because i do it too but like they, they just assume it's it, and it's like well well then how is he gonna carry her around then like it, it can't work unless they remove an eye it's like 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 clearly the the device is perfectly capable of functioning without being in a fucking eye socket you know what i mean like it happens all the time she comes out all the time and yet and and yet there's a couple of people in chat they're just like no no is it, is it, they have to remove the eye there's, there's no other way you know like <laughs> Like removing an eye is pretty, uh, pretty, um, uh, hardcore of a, a point to get to. It's called suspension of disbelief and you are generally supposed to do that in fiction. Chatter, what are you cooking? How's that got to do anything we were talking about right now? Peter just likes collecting eyes, but he hates Cyclopses. It's in his bio. They said his brother died in an accident. I feel like they could have just, just had Ryuku lose an eye then. Oh, that, that is what happened. He just doesn't remember. Yeah. Uh, what what actually happened is that when his brother got run over by a truck and half of him was destroyed the other half was like left intact enough that they were able to like take that half and put it on the other half of ryuki that we are right now and when the truck ran him over it, it probably like it didn't do too much damage but the pressure when it ran over his skull popped his eye out of the socket and th and that's where the eye was was lost that's what we're going to learn probably in tw 12 streams from now that's what happened thank you retro dragonfly <laughs> This reminds me of a game. I can't remember the, what the game is though. What game is this reminding me of? Like a boss from a game. Retro Dragonfly, chat, it's the keyboard, recreational jar of teeth, Russell Clank. It was it was ASMR and it was art. Also, we know that what those sounds were at the beginning of the stream, Joe, you're not fooling us. Whose teeth are they? Tell us. It's the, it's the, no, that's actually kind of gross. Sorry, I'm not saying that. Um, speaking of bosses, Finn beat the Bell Gargoyle. And then he beat the other Bell Gargoyle. And then, honest to God, legitimately faster than I did it, he killed the Capra Demon. I think it took him like eight or nine tries. It took me longer than that on my first time. However, however, he had a little bit of help. All right? And the little bit of help that I that, that he got from 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 me was that I told him that one of possibly the best shield in the game drops from the balder knights in um in the cathedral and he killed them until he got one and that is that is a pretty big like like boost it's not like like you know game breaking or whatever but he he got one of those and and uh that was a big help i think so he beat the capra demon 
he also he also beat this morning so he beat the capper demon last night um this morning he beat and i quote the gapping dragon he is currently in blight town and his weapon just broke for a second time and he didn't listen to me when i told him to buy the repair box so now he has to go all the way back up to uh to undead parish oh, oh owned owned yeah he beat the gapping dragon um, I was there when he got to that boss for the first time, and I, I don't know, man. Like, I was- I almost took the game away from him. I wasn't sure. He seemed like he might have been a little scared by that- that- that monster design. But then afterwards, I think- I don't know if he was just trying to- to put on a brave face, or if he was just more upset that he died. Like, he- he seemed upset after it killed him, but he still ran it and- and fought it. But yeah, I don't know if he was a little- a little unnerved by that- that, uh, boss design. But if he was, like, he ran right back there and tried again right afterwards. So I don't know. But yeah, he he beat that the um he beat that this morning. So now he's in Blight Town. So it's going quite well actually. Um, I was watching him get through that. You know that little area before Capra Demon. That that's actually su a surprisingly hard area in my opinion. And uh, I was watching him, and I also watched him beat the Bell Gargoyles, and he's he's gotten so much better. His like feeling of presence in in the game of being able to like oh I I know to wait and then attack like it, something clicked with him clearly and he's doing much better now so I'm uh, I'm impressed. I wonder if he's gonna beat the game. So far, do you think it was the right decision to let him play Dark Souls so young? Yeah, but I I am a little concerned now after after Gaping Dragon. Is there anything in the game that's that's more visually like intense than Gaping Dragon? Maybe Nido? That would be it, right? Just Nido? Ceaseless? No way. Ceaseless is, looks goofy. Quelag? Quelag has like the human component that I think Quelag would be all right. Maybe, maybe Quelag is going to be rough. There's no way he's getting to Quelag during stream today, so maybe I'll, I'll make sure that I'm there when, when he gets close to Quelag. Joe said, and degree. <laughs> and it gave me uh, the idea to draw her getting out of minimum wage hell. That's what getting a degree does, right? Oh, oh, honey. Oh, honey. It used to for the generation before ours until they ruined it for everyone forever. Thank you. Oh, man. Ha 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 Shit, yep. Yeah. And degree. Oh, Ronald's so proud. There are octopus monsters in Lost Isleth that fucked me up in a creepy way. Though Those with teeth in their head. Oh! Yeah, those are creepy even to me. Oh, that one section where you fall. Oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, well, it's okay. He's never getting there. Because Somnium is back, did a sketch of propo proposed character for future hit video game Nostril. <laughs> is it Nostril or Nostril? Or whatever it is, I'm not going back and checking. Daisuke, nobody nobody knows. He's a detective who, who smells out crime, obviously, uh, with his partner Nosuke. Uh, but the other jokes write themselves, so I'll leave it to that. It's a story in Human McGruff the Crime Dog. <laughs> I believe it was Nostril. I think it was. We wanted it to be a um, a semicolon game, didn't we? Although the N O with the colon looks pretty good too. Old Factorium. Old Factorium. Just play Lost Isleth for him instead. The kid isn't gonna have a fun time with Better Chaos. How how do randomizers handle Better Chaos? I've seen a randomizer and someone played it, and the little thing that you kill at the end of Better Chaos was just in a room, and that boss was just a gimme. But what's in the Beta Chaos room? Do you have to fight a boss down there with with the arms going woo 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 woo? Or or is is the boss like in the little root thing? Look at the smoke, man. Looks cool. After we make Marcy's Senpais, we're gonna have to l legit make Nostril. <laughs> That's cursed. That's cursed. Piggy Wiggy. Back at it again. There are huge breasts pointing. Original Joe point by Jelly. Oh, it's Jelly who made that. When asked if this was okay with them to upload to museum, Jelly had this to say. Huge breasts are fine by me. The report? A sentiment we can all agree with. Let's zoom in. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Lily said that she watched part of the stream. And she said, and I quote, there was, I don't, I don't know who it was, but there was a blonde and she had a really, she had a really hot outfit. I liked her. And then I was like, what? And I was, and she, and she was like, she had straps on her legs. And then I showed her Tama and she was like, yeah, that one, that's a really hot outfit. Is that based or should I be worried? 
I do like the leg straps. 500% based. Peter, please help me legally kidnap this woman and make her do a Somnium. Hehe, <laughs> okay, Somnium. This is pointless. Our world is an illusion. It is like a dream. There is no reason to try and investigate a fucking murder. What a load of bullshit. Am I right, P Peter? Yeah? Yeah, Peter? The world is a Somnium and also a vampire. Yes, it is, dearie. Want to join nice? I promise we're very smart. Oh boy, can I? Oh yeah, he would. <laughs> he would love that, wouldn't he? Wait, the I'm already in a Somnium? All the time, I'm in the Somnium. I started to started work on this before she just decided to let Ryuki do a Somnium on her just off screen. Yeah, show that conversation. The expressions on this are so good. I love them. Thank you for the art, Sam. I didn't actually finish this game. I was too checked out, to be honest. What? So I fully expect her to, to magic herself back to life. I do too. Do a dance number. No clip out the world. And even though she's confusing to me, I'll still like her because she's hot. Is she though? Eh? What do you think, Chair? Oh, oh, Chair's on board. Okay. I like crazy girls to me. So do I. So do I. I'm just not feeling it with this one for some reason. Not yet. Hmm. Hmm. It's the hair. You would like her if she was blonde. Okay. You know what? I think I need to do a little bit of pushback on the blonde thing. Okay. I like, I like blondes. All right. I never used to actually liking blondes is somewhat recent. Like as recent as in, like the past, like, I don't know, like six years or so i don't know why so it's like the the blonde thing is is is, is like i know it's childish to to be like oh hair color like 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 high tier preference but you know that's what it was before that was brunette um but yeah l lately it's it's been blonde yeah i had a heart transplant yeah it's it's weird um but like blonde is not a requirement you know like other colors are, are great too old new Jelly chibi caterpillar. Why is there a caterpillar? Awaken your third eye, but only for six minutes at a time. It's the lazy eye Somnium Chan. She's back with a brand new coat of paint. Get it? Third eye, like spiritual awakening, Nirvana. Or how about lazy eye, since she's always drifting off to sleep? Eh? Eh? Featuring Simsy's equally drowsy sleeping pill Chan. Oh, it's it's a it's a Chan sandwich. You you know I hear their relationship is up for interpretation. Hmm, what was that about lesbian undertones earlier? Jelly made the chibi a caterpillar because it looks like a sleeping bag. Ah, Yes, this is the entire reason for the redesign. Jelly has, has been screaming the last few streams and jads about the little chibi designs. I, it's like watching a cat see food go into the cupboard. You just know what they're planning. Thank you, thank you, Jelly. She's adorable. I agree. Speaking of sleeping insomnia, I'm sorry the stream was late today. I had every intention of actually getting up early and I didn't. I slept longer. I dreamt I stole someone's phone. I don't know why. Like it, it was on purpose too. It was like someone was like, hey, that's my phone. And I was like, nope. Maybe it's because of the phone conversation we had yesterday. I also dreamt I, I ran into like my, my extended family and for whatever reason, Keenan Thompson had married into my family and was there like with the rest of them. Just like, hey, I'm a part of the crew now. <laughs> he was he was there, like equally disappointed in me as the rest of the family. Just like just arms crossed, like he just couldn't believe it. Like you're just like, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Who do I have the name? Keenan Thompson. He's from Saturday Night Live. I think he was also on uh, Keenan and Kel, which my mom used to call Keenan and Kyle. <laughs> I fucking hate that Keenan and Kyle. The Who Loves Orange Soda show. Saxophone chair, saxophone armchair music. One uh, police, yeah, it's uh, mildly terrifying, but also really cute. When could something be cute and terrifying at the same time? What's that all about? When the uncanny valley gets a, a Z axis. <laughs> Is Furby cute and terrifying? Yeah, Furbies are cute and terrifying. C806256. And here we go. Previously on Alsomnium Files 2. Our boy got so excited here. Out of the way. There are breasts here. My window's open again. Boom. At the end of last stream. I'm incredibly disturbed that I remember the original drawing you did. That this is referencing in enough clarity that I can that I can tell that this is a very hard sentence to read. That they're the exact same as last time. Let's pretend this is an artist thing and not a gay thing. <laughs> Lovely art, thank you. Thank you, uh, C8. I shortened it, finally. C8. Any opportunity to punch Oda? 
Based. Nice. Is this a JoJo reference? Question, question mark. I just assume anything is a JoJo reference in anime. As Al the Somnian Files number one fan and Al Nirvana Initiative number one hater. What? I felt compelled to do something quick to, de to depict the current state of- How bad does this get? I knew it got bad, but it gets that bad? The current state of streams. Hope everyone is enjoying the streams and knows that Amame is best girl. Quick question, Misk. You call yourself Nirvana Initiative's number one hater, but I can I can I claim that I am actually number one hater? Because I am. You may claim, sure, but I live in I live in hate of this game every waking moment. Every waking moment. So you so you finished it? I hate the game so much that I didn't. Curious. I'm no quitter. Oh, oh, this is a back and forth. Okay. I'm no quitter. Ah, oh. yeah. I I think I think that your hate is more deserved if you push past and finish it. I think you have to go back and finish it. Okay, you're gonna have to. I don't make the rules. Sorry. Democracy sucks. True. Even though I put this on the on the list myself. Uh, babe, it's time for your once a minute horny dialogue that isn't funny and takes everyone out of the game. You know what? I blame the game for the for the conversation that happened. The game is is influencing too much. It's the game's fault. There we go. We have an out chat. It's the game's fault. Protagonist waiting room. Yeah, what's going on with that? The bullshit trumpet? Yep. It, it, the bullshit trumpet is a very good way of saying it. Have you seen this man? I miss him. I miss him too. Like, wh why did he show up kind of like a tease and then he's not there anymore? It's Metal Gear Solid all over again. I swear to God. Seriously, the leg straps. I didn't know I liked them so much. Huh. You can still learn things about yourself. You can teach an old horn dog new tricks. Who knew? <laughs> Sorry, Kay. I'm reading your message and laughing. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Beast. Joe, have you played Nuclear Throne? And if you did, how do you think it compares to ETG? Uh, ETG is way better. I have played Nuclear Throne. Uh, I prefer games that are that run at higher than 24 frames per second. This is probably a skill issue, and if I played it enough, uh, I would get over it. But I feel like Nuclear Throne, you can just die too quickly out of nowhere. Uh, it kind of feels like a little bit like Spelunky for that, but it's probably just a skill issue. Who would do something like this? Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. Ryuki Terror did it. Use this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. Tokiko, she said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly Kuruto Ryuki. You're being demoted to a police officer. Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. Enter the Gungeon is the hardest game I've ever played. How hard was it for you? Um, there were parts of Enter the Gungeon that was really hard. It, it took me a while to, to, to learn that game. Do you think that some of my Enter the Gungeon experience was helping me with, um, with Rabby Ribby? Because that's like most of the bullet hell kind of experience that I have. Although the bullet hell in Enter the Gungeon isn't, isn't that bad. Worried about life? No, I'm not doing that again. Stop displaying this notification. Yeah. Into the Gungeon is pretty easy with all the unlocks. Yes and no. I think it it's... Okay, so the updates that they've added to the game have definitely made it easier. It's now easier to get ammo. And I feel like they throw items at you more often. So I do think that the game overall, the difficulty has been brought down significantly from what it was at launch. Um, so there's that. But also, it does get easier with the unlocks. But as you unlock more and you have more options, you just naturally just get better at the game. So it's really hard to judge. Into the Gungeon is is um is, is a bit like Dark Souls in that at the beginning it can feel kind of impossible and then by the end like you're you're just like no hitting the first three floors pretty easily. What's your favorite torture tool? Bull of Phalaris, mice, Iron Maiden, triangular wooden horse. What's a bull of Phalaris? Oh they oh that's the thing where they they it's um it's an iron bull or whatever and they put you in it and then it's hollow and they light it on fire underneath. I've heard of this yeah, probably that one yeah. You like listening to the cries of people on fire? That's tasteless. Wait, tasteless? I would argue that the game is easier at the beginning due to the gun and the item pool not being inflated by every bad item. Uh, there's that too, but I feel like some of the unlocks later, later you get are really powerful. Some of them are so powerful that I actually don't like playing with them. Um, in Enter the Gungeon, my, my least favorite item that's like S tier is the Super Hot Watch. I hate the Super Hot Watch. It changes the game so much and it's awkward to use uh for me um like it, it, it's basically like gg like like easy easy full lich clear if you get it like if you are willing to put in the patience but like 
Um, I hate getting the Super Hot Watch. I usually just reset my run when I get fucking, like, uh, the Super Hot Watch. Have you been to Room 40 in Gungeon? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like, I think I've done every boss in the Gungeon except for, I don't think I've ever done the Rat. Um, is Room 40 the one with the, the weird helicopter thing? If that's it, then I've done that. You can drop it though. Yeah, but I just wasted my, my S tier chest. I'd rather run, uh, run away. Room 40's nuts. What? What are you talking about, Ryuki? No, I was just suddenly overcome with an inexplicable urge to go to Atami. Legitimately got me. Legitimately got me. Legitimately got me. God damn it. Forget the investigation. I'm going to Atami with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? Is this gonna end? Wait a minute. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. For no reason, let's save it. Didn't this happen last game? Yeah, don't you know? The sequel, you have to you retread everything. It's like one of my streams. You have to run into the ground without any of the charm. Now, let's go to Atami together! Together! Uh, okay. I took her hand and we ran out of the skate, leaving Tama behind. Thus, the case came to a close without being resolved. Goodbye, life as a police officer. Hello, Atami. Sizoka Prefecture. I began my new life as a staff member at an inn here in the Hot Springs District. The end. Or is it? What does Finn have to do with this? Imagine Date being there. If Date had been there and they could have a quick conversation right now, that would have actually made it worth it, huh? What is going on with the flowchart? Oh, that's why we're not Mizuki. Oh, okay. Wait, what What could we have done there to stay Mizuki? Did we need a code or something? I told you, I just happened to be here. Sound okay, by the way? I just so happened to know Tessa's recording schedule. And I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, he was waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Great, great... Tessa! Airplanes! Pipe Flight Tessa! What? It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! How, how, I'm sorry, am I being dumb? How are you going Freight Crate Tessa? Before it rhymed. This doesn't rhyme. Man, didn't you, did, is anyone's character development from the first game intact? What what in the Witcher show is this? Like, what, what the fuck is going on? Or oh, Witcher games, even. What's going on? How are you still thirsting over... I guess you run the restaurant now. Uh, yeah, okay. And the other Yakuza is out of the out of the, the business. You didn't really go through much. Uh, it's, it's Date that's the big one. Like, what the hell? The simulation was reset. It's Momo. He looks extremely out of place here. I told you it was a coincidence. For some reason, Tess, I uh, A set's recording schedule happened to be in my PC. I figured it was a cyber attack by a rival gang, so I came here to scout things out just in case. That's a huge stretch. He was probably just waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura. <laughs> really, Tama? Shipping. Cart, Mart, Tessa. Gaming. Fight! Sprite! Tessa! Account! Check! Collect! Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as Aset! You bet! This is just saying two things and then saying her name. This sucks. The other one you have to actually think of, of things that could rhyme to get there. What? This sucks. I'm angry. You said that already? Yeah, I'm, I'm in tune with the game. I'm saying the same thing again. I'm repeating content. Two days ago, we were talking about the people who went missing after seeing Bats 490. Well, the same thing started happening with the people who saw the QR code video. What? I read about it online this morning. Many people have gone missing since seeing that video. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location, and they're all getting murdered. You dare. They rhyme with a set. Bite, sprite, a set. Checked, collect, a set. That one kinda. Cart, mart, a set. No. 
Height, flight, a set. Crate, freight, crate, a set. Someone's been playing Evolve Idol. Freight yards to get some crates. That's good. They end in a T. Oh. Uh, crate. Yeah, it ends in a T sound, even if it doesn't end in a T. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's it. It's end in a T. All right, we figured it out. Sprite. Yeah, it's ending in a T. Okay. Well, that's checked. That's bite. Checked. Eh. Checked is kind of a kind of more of a T than a than a D sometimes, I guess. I have trouble saying my T's. Is what you just said true? Huh? Y yeah. Who the hell are you? Don't get one step closer. Th that's right. What are you trying to do to Tessa? Sorry to bother you. Okay, uh, what did what did Tessa say? Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location and they're all getting murdered. Is that what you said true? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's true that there's a rumor, right? It's true that there's a rumor? Okay. And they're gone. What was that all about? Uh, oh, Oh, right. shit. Did someone you know go missing or something? No, it's not that. It's just a rumor I found online. Tama, how many people have gone missing lately? About 1,700 people have gone missing this week. It isn't particularly higher than usual. Hmm. There's something paranormal going on in the HB case after all. Like half a corpse teleporting from another world. And people going missing after watching a video. There has to be some sort of supernatural phenomenon happening. How are you still on this bullshit? I agree with Tessa. The occult are involved with the HB case for sure. Right? Yeah, I mean, Nice is a part of all of this, right? Where did you hear that? It's all over the internet. Nice is a big proponent of the simulation theory. Oh, and I didn't know this a few months ago. I learned all this recently. If you think about that theory being correct, the case makes a lot more sense. After all, we are living Does it? in nothing but a simulation. And, and such, such programs, programs always, always have, have some, some glitches, glitches lurking, lurking under the surface. surface. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. Unless the simulation had glitchy software as a way to make you think that to put you off on the trail, whereas in the real world, software is actually perfect and it's easy to perfect. And they just added in the, the capability for glitches to be more common in our software in the simulation. Maybe because that's hard to simulate. Like, this is the problem with, with, with simulation theory, is that it assumes that the real world is exactly the same as the simulated one, which which is probably not the case at all, right? Like, it's 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 so hard to get any any level of, like, like um, uh, any, any level of logical foundation to build off of. Which sometimes the simulation theorists even, even account for when they say, like, the speed of light is kind of like an arbitrary speed limit. Okay, we can, we can wink sync. Who do you want to wing sing? It's got to be Iris, right? We're going to get the most information. Oh, wait, hold on. <gasps> I heard the hibernation diet works, so I gave it a try. I've been sleeping all the time, but it's not working at all. I've actually gained more weight. What? You mean it's more than just sleeping, breathing techniques? What? Ugh. That sounds like a pain in the butt. I'm no expert on paranormal and occult stuff, but I know one thing for sure, so I gotta warn you. You should back out of this investigation. What do you mean? I don't know much about that nice group, but there's definitely a real dangerous organization involved in all this. If you get too deep, you might end up dead. Word's spreading in the underground. If the cops investigate any further, they'll make them disappear. Seems like the rich and powerful from all over the world are involved in this, too. You piss them off. Who knows what they'll do to you? Rich and powerful? Could Mr. Sajima be involved in this, too? Sajima? You mean the former politician guy? Yes, so Sajima. Oh, he's... Oh, but don't worry about it. Is he not I dead? I just saw him recently, so he popped into my head is all. Wait, you met with So? Wait, what? Yeah? Why? Because he invited me to his house. For what reason? He said he happened upon my videos online and thought they were interesting or something like that. Are you okay? He didn't do anything, did he? Not at all. We just talked for a bit. 
Iris doesn't know So Sejima is her father. What, what? He's her father? After the new serial, no Cyclops serial killing, So Sejima's life as a politician. I didn't know that So Sejima's as a politician ended. However, what So did wasn't technically illegal, so he hasn't been arrested or charged. He still has tons of money, so it may not be a politician anymore, but he still holds tons of power. I didn't. I don't. I forgot that completely. Holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah, he he uh, he killed her mom, and it was in the uh, in the freezer and everything. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Okay, I, it's coming back to me now. All right. Or the fact that he was involved in the murder of her real mother, Monica. Yeah, the people around her have been protecting her from that information. Fortunately, Iris doesn't really watch the news either. He did not. He was. He was involved. He was at least an accomplice in killing. In killing the mother. But in any case, the media hasn't found out Iris is Monica's daughter. He was like Jill. He was a part of it. Okay. It's Iris. She just finished recording, but she doesn't look tired at all. She's truly a professional. Can I learn this power? The simulation theory is probably true. There's even proof. Proof? Take a look at this. Oda pulled out several photos from his pocket and handed them to me. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like those nameless mob characters that show up in video games. You know they reuse assets to lower production costs. No. This is probably just some sort oh of coincidence. Oh my god. Like some synchronicity type thing? But there's more photographic proof. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you are going with this because it makes you feel like you're you're not an NPC when you clearly are? Like, oh my god. NPCs NPCizing the other people to make themselves feel better. Okay, cool. Do you still think it's a coincidence after seeing this? Yeah, I'm convinced. If you consider this stuff that can't be explained by science as a glitch in the simulated world. Oh no. Are the, is that is that weird rectangle cloud I saw in the last one actually a, a, a point, a part of it? Wait, what's wrong with this one? What's wrong with this one? That's just a picture of a car. Get up if you've been seeing the whole time. Oh, the tree is sticking through the car. I didn't even see that. I thought that the tree was um was behind it. Okay, I'm starting to get worried that the weird cloud that we saw at the port is actually evidence for this. Wait, what's this? This looks like an AI error. Mr. Jizzies. That's worse, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Maybe that's worse. Use some hype chat. JPH fan chant. Stream. Come, bum, Joseph Anderson. Thank you so much. Bringing it back. What's your opinion on Oda's face? I don't like it. I don't like Oda. Oda's annoying. I feel like you can make this kind of character work, but maybe he's irritating on purpose. But then it like tries to get you to like him later, or it did it the, in the first game. I, I really don't like him at all. It can't be. Calm down, Ryuki. These are obviously doctored photos. Yeah, you're right. What pet do you want in your pond? A merman. If anyone has has one in a pond, I'd like to see it. In a nutshell, they're basically meaningful coincidences. For example, when you talk about someone and they just so happen to show up in front of you. Or when you hear the same word over and over from a bunch of different people. No, see, people like to say this sort of stuff, but no. It's just coincidence, man. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes this happens, you don't even notice it. It's fun to think about, though. I, I love this shit. That kind of synchronicity. It's supposed to mean that there's a message behind it. A message from who? Well... Someone. From God. Hey, it's me, God. Maybe I'll put a monitor that big in our office, too. What would you watch? Obviously, Tess... Tess... T -t testicle Testicle videos! Yeah! Testicle videos! That sounds really icky, Moma. <laughs> Special feature, useful ways to tie a rope. Huh. Ryuki, steal it for me later. Whoa, there's a weird bug here. You're right. I've never seen it before. Just a reminder that a rope play can be uh, surprisingly dangerous, although it's not the most dangerous thing that you can just casually try. So if you are going to get into that, do a little bit of research first, because it is very, very easy to uh, hurt someone or yourself. Do re mi so fa. I've decided I'm going to be a a um nice high table, a a positive father figure now on the internet. I'm I'm in my my Andrew Tate arc, but in in a good way. 
I'm going to be a pos positive, um, masculine parental figure. Here we go. It started today at the beginning of stream. N not you too, Ryuki. Well, okay. Lesson one. If you think Stop using your phone thighs, like that. Then... Wait, what did you think I said? Oh, okay. It was a thigh joke. Okay. I just thought of something listening to Ota. You can explain any paranormal phenomenon using the simulation theory. UFOs, Umas, ghosts, superpowers? Umas? Unexplained something? Remind me, it's worth spending phages to buy one of each minor rank or, or trait rank, right? Yeah, I would say it's worth it, except for possibly uh, the one that does healing. And until you have more prestige, the, the gambling one might not be worth it either. Umas. User management after sale. Yuma. Just Yuma. Uma Thurman. Unexplained magical animes. Uma, a very sensitive and pretty girl who can rely on other people for hap for her happiness. What, what what the fuck is an Uma? If this world is a simulation, they'd all be possible. Yeah, whether it's a glitch or alterations made on purpose. Whatever it is, would all make sense. Joe, it's like you've never played Strange Journey. You got me. Now, let's get going. For all that talking we did, we didn't get much useful information here. Yeah, but something has been bothering me. How do I make titanium? Uh, you can't. You have to buy it until you research the process. I'll keep what I heard here in mind, just in case. Unexplained mystical animal? Maybe that is it. Alright, I think we got everything here, right? Tessa, would you stand on that stool over there? What? Why? I heard that painting is actually titled T-N-Y-E-O. It used to be called by another name. I really miss Date. So do I, yeah. Date brought a level of, like, confidence. Is this so in a suit? That Ryuki lacks. It was refreshing. Oh, Ryuki, honey. Welcome. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama. But I'm not here as a customer today. I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. Do you mean the HB case? Yeah. Mame and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. Balls? Polishing some balls? There are two crystal balls on top of the counter. Ryuki, you ever do stuff on a bar counter before? Like what? You know, something that starts with S. I don't think so. Really? Well, I've served customers here before. Wow. Did you clean the bar afterwards and then clean your phone? That's a suspicious book. The spine says anybody can become a necromancer. Ooh. Ryuki, want to see a video of naked men hugging each other in the dirt? Oh, yes, please. It's just a sumo video. He's facing away and there's tension in the air. What, from, from us or from, from Amame? Huh? Where? calling a sumo wrestler play the song again it's mommy she's facing it with an annoyed look on her face okay so is when i said that was uh i don't remember her name i made a joke that it was the younger version of uh of tostito it's not tostito tokiko it said something about like she had a, she had a kid like 20 years ago, but then they went out out of the way to say that Amami was was 18. Is she is it that she's lying now again? It's that she was she was telling the truth before. I wonder if that's her that's her daughter. Masked woman unknown. The receptionist at Lemon Skate. She loves a man with a deep gravelly voice. You know she's totally in love with that shiz. Kind of had an upset stomach lately, which sucks. Is that a crystal ball? Yes. These are my big milky balls. Milky. Balls? Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. Yeah, I know. I started telling fortunes as a side business, and believe it or not, 
I actually gained the ability to hear them. Your customer? Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. They both sound pretty fishy. You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. You might believe me if you see it in person. No, it's okay. No, I need to be so modest. I want to do it. It'll be free of charge. Then let me ask the Milky Balls. Can you stop calling them that? Oh, great set of balls. <laughs> Who is the most beautiful in all the land? That is Mama, of course. Oh, my. <laughs> you flatterer. <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. Whoa! That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Huh? Did I just say something? I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. Alright. Well, here's what I know. Uh, but unfortunately there wasn't any new or useful information. I'm sorry I couldn't help you this time. No, it's fine. Just typical detective work. Gotta earn my pay. I've been wondering this for a long time. Who are you really, Mama? Me? <laughs> I'm just your ordinary, everyday, homoerotic connoisseur. Alright. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is... Gan's face hidden under his mask. But he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is... Ah! Jin Furaway! Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. That's a mask. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. Not even once? Why? Not even once. Is this- It's not because he's shy, is it? This motherfucker's a fake person. Oh no. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, for fuck's sake. If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. You have half of him though? By or the do way, we? Mama, what's up with those two? Or do we have half of an AI generated clone based on his AI generated person art that he put out there of, of his face? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? No, Mama. The problem is Guinea's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? Oh. You sound like a stupid person right now. Oh. What? Oh, you're the damn. One sounds stupid. Oh. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All American Ultra Quiz. Holy. W wait, wait. What is this argument even about? Well, we're having a disagreement. Down the street, those two from Life is Strange before the storm are still in a tumbleweed, trying to punch each other in the face. No, you, no, you, no, you, no, you, no, you, no, you. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> that's what happened. So we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion. And that's where we're at. Marble, but did you... when I gave my input, uh -oh. it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time.
Huh? What's the name of the island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Liberty Island? Lib oh, is it Ellis Island? I, I don't know. I think it's Liberty Island, isn't it? What? Even you think that, Ryuki? <laughs> the answer is Ellis Island. What? Ho hold on. That's ridiculous. It can't be. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. What? That's not true. Do we do we all just call it Liberty Island thinking that's what it is? Man, I've 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 been there. Like like actually been there, physically been there. Okay. So you're in agreement with me. There's definitely something wrong here. Hey, what do you think, Talma? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. What? Look, I just looked it up online. Now do you see? The Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island. It can't be. Again, I still can't believe this, but it looks like they're right. It's impossible. Statue of Liberty is a colossal neoclassical stat sculpture on Ellis Island in New York Harbor, New York City. I'll be damned! Holy shit! It really is! Holy fuck! See? Anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. But, it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. I see. Made you Google. Made you Google. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Mommy. I was mistaken. What's going as on here? As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. Everyone makes mistakes. I think... I think that we live on a Mandela line. I think the, the part we're on Moncton, I feel like I live in this little this little pocket of, of, of a Mandela effect, right? Because the street is so weird that I feel like... Almost every week, there is a new family that lives in the house across the street. I have seen so many different people come and go from that house. Different cars, different dogs. I, I got so convinced about this and worried about this, I looked up to see if it was an Airbnb, and it's not. Like, like I don't know. Like And it's, it can't be rentals because the cycling is too fast, right? I, I don't understand what's going on in, in that house across the street. And then there's like... Two doors down is kind of the same way. Next door neighbors are set in stone. They must be in the same kind of Mandela like 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 AOE effect that that our house is in, right? There's another house down the street that I walked past it a couple weeks ago, and a family was moving in. And I know a family was moving in because that that's the that's that was the day that I, I said on stream that um I walked outside and I said hey hello to two people and they both just stared at me and didn't say say shit to me that would that was the day they were moving in they were moving furniture inside the house there was a family moving in with them too right and now that house is for sale and it's completely empty I don't, I don't understand what's going on so much weird shit happens. Are you sure you're a real Joe? Maybe I'm not. The the house across the street though is just the weirdest one. Narcolepsy? What does narcolepsy got to do with anything? Are you saying I dreamt it? No, I, I didn't dream this. Basement fumes gotta be- I fuck this fucking basement fume thing is just gonna be the explanation for everything from now on. Do you- do you think, like, if it's possible that there is multiple dimensions, and that you're- and that you're- is it possible that your consciousness kind of just kind of just morbs over to a different timeline naturally, to one that's only like ever so slightly different, like 0.00001% different? If it happens that often, do you think there- there are like, parts of the world that morb over a little bit more often than other parts of the world? I don't- I don't understand what's going on across the street. I don't get it. Joe in disbelief refuses to ask the landlord. What landlord? There is no landlord. I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay, then I'll see you three later. Uh, in case anyone is confused, I was joking when I said I looked it up and it said Ellis Island. It does say Liberty Island, so they're they're doing a bit here. So it's like either they're all collectively lying to us or we're in a different dimension or something. I don't know what's going on. What about your restaurant, Gen? I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. 
It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. What? What would you do if you see someone crying? Ask why they're crying. Make them laugh. Leave them alone. Cheer them up. Ask why they're crying. Do as you please. I'm sure you have your stupid reasons. Whoa! Alright. Wink Sync on Mama might be funny, but I really want to see if we can learn anything more about, about Jen. <sighs> what do I do? What in the world should I do? Oh, he must really care about those recipes. That's my read on that. Mama and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things like you saw earlier. We're basically family at this point. So if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her, no matter what. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. True. True. He lets, he lets people put ketchup on their omelets. Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. I have been very close with Date for some time. Who? He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. What do you mean, some time? What? Are you the Poochie of this game? When, when the f you weren't in the first game. Did he meet you after the first game? What the f- I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. One. Date, Amame, and Lian. You know Lian too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahman as well. I am Lian. Lian just wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh. That's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mats or something. Porno ma- What are they? Teenagers? Oh, uh, we talked a lot about porno mats. <laughs> Putting Date, Amame, and Lian aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? Okay, what do you think it's gonna be? Is he gonna be, like, like surprisingly, like, very, very handsome and he doesn't realize how handsome he is? Is he gonna be, like, like half two halves stitched together? He's, he's like, a two-face? Or, or, like, what is it? What? My face. Yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah, yes. No, yeah. you don't have to if you don't want to. Not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything. I said that to be honest, a part of me wanted to see. He wanted to show you! You should have said yes! Not out of curiosity, but because Mama's words from earlier. Face. A hidden face. Uh, I don't believe it. I could clearly see Jen's skull, but it didn't seem like the answer to solve the case was hidden there. Oh, oh man, maybe he no has point a staying here much longer. Maybe he has a second weirder skull mask underneath this mask to make people who do X-rays see that instead of his real face. Yes, let's move on. Well, again, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. And not show you my body saw trick? What are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Yes. Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Aww. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Why am I on a Ferris wheel with you? Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. What's going on back there? This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. Stop saying that. Is that because it's a, it's a glitch in the Matrix? If you shove yourself in there, he just might open up. Could you please not phrase it like that? Ryuki, why don't you try jumping off? No. I think Tama needs to be, like, hit with a hammer. I told you before, she's just a classmate. We're not friends, and I don't know much about her. <laughs> Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor. But I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her? No! 
That doesn't mean anything. Not like I'm even slightly interested in that uggo. Well, he really is a kid, huh? That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. Baka. I'm just really into robots. But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology. And the one wheel design is beautiful. Well, I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. Hmm. It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one-wheel design. Like, major electronics companies make one-wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Did you make the fake person with Jin Furway or something? Or are you involved in that somehow? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see. That's pretty good. I see. I know you don't really care. I care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. Why don't you show him Tama? That's like a little robot. He might like that. I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Will you cut it out already? I don't want to talk about my dad. What lie? You said the hidden message in Bats 490 pointed to Horidori Institute. But that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied? And where the actual location is? Truth is, I never decoded it. What? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. Are we done now? Don't talk to me anymore. Um. That got a reaction. He's probably lying right now. His chastity belt wasn't loose after all. If you're going to say it that way, you at least have to add the of his heart part. Anyway, I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. I already told you! I hate him! Huh. Happy now? I hate him so much, I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first, then Dad came. He wanted to make up. You know who else hates him? Pewter. Pewter hates this guy's dad. You want to know why he hates his dad so much? Because his Minecraft ass cube head makes him immune to Somniums. It doesn't fit. He doesn't fit in the chair. They can't get the visor over his head. Immune to Somniums. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. Uh oh. You ran away from home? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring I smiles smile to the audience. audience. If I can do that, I don't, I don't care, care if I get I mocked. That's, that's what, what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out... That's why mom got sick of you and left. Dad turned bright red and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's why I left the house. Hmm. All right, is there something else going on here? Because your dad doesn't seem that bad. He shouldn't have said that though. That was really across the line. Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing, like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. There we go, I okay. Hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. There we go. All right. So I have to quit streaming before the kids get to high school. Interesting. I told you, I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face <laughs> with sanitary napkins, his stupid awful singing in the bathtub, 
Everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. What? I hate him. He's just living his best life. He needs to get his nose hair under control, though. Come on. I I I get a pair of uh, of tweezers and yank my nose hair out. I, I, apparently, you're not supposed to do that. It can be a little dangerous. But I'm I'm willing to take the risk on that one. I don't care. I just yank it out. First couple times it hurt a lot, but but now I kind of enjoy it. Just trim Jesus. Why would I trim Jesus? Don't bring Jesus into this. But yeah, t take care of your nose hair, chat. We're hating someone so much. He sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. Leave your nose hair alone. No, you just, don't leave your nose hair alone. Go look in the mirror right now and see your nose hair. You have to take care of your nose hair. Especially as you get older. As you get older, your nose hair be starts to become a little bit more pronounced. Also, your ear hair starts to get a little bit more pronounced. You have to take care of this shit. D I'm not recommending, like, plucking it out. If you want to pluck it out, that's fine. You can you can be a part of the crew if you want. But just just trim. Just trim. Go, go for it. It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. That means... We'll have to try our luck with his father. What is, what ear hair? Ah, uh, to be young again. I only have like one or two ear hairs that, that come, that come out, that I have to pull out. And they're not from inside my ear yet. They're just like on, on the outside. It's almost like a beard hair that kind of went rogue and started growing out of the little, that little flappy part that's in front of your, your ear. So it's only one or two. I could probably leave them alone, actually, no one would notice. But as you get older, yeah, you, you start to have hair grow in, in weirder places, yeah. It happens- What do you mean? What you- what, Have you never seen an old person in your life? They have ear hair! Unless they're like, they, they're- they're trimming it, great. What the- what the fuck are you- what? How is this news? Fucking Zoomers so in their own head listen to music, they don't even look at the people that they're talking to. Like, yeah. Do you get your eyebrows done? Nah, I don't mess with my eyebrows. Oh, okay. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel too. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? She needs to stop this. To this is not. It would be tough to about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. This isn't good. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. <laughs> this is the only outfit I have right now. Wait, what? I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, that'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes, I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. I kinda see it. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. Uh-oh. You're gonna lose it? This tie? Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since. And yet. And yet they chose your show to do the corpse reveal on? That's odd. Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. This guy seems like he's a he's a decent father. I feel like he's trying his best. He shouldn't have said that to his kid, though. But the rest of the way he's saying, he seems like he's trying his best. So, when are you jumping off? I am not jumping off. After some careful consideration, I told Mr. Komiji that it's highly likely Shoma lied about the message hidden in Bats 490. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. 
I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. Hmm. That's an interesting perception on that. Instead of being like, like when you get like defensive parents, they often say something like, "My my son always tells the truth. My son never lies." And he's like, "Nah, he probably did lie, but you know, like I trust my kid's judgment. He probably had a good reason." That's that's a really good uh, response to that. I like this character so far. I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little, but yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. Why is your eye a different color there? It's a bit, a bit odd. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened to oh, the, the same color now. Okay, my just lack of success. Mr. Ryuki? There is something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. Maybe he did Botox, and that made him allergic to his bow, and then made his face swell up. Thank you to uh, Xander the Young American for the resub. Thank you very much. And thank you to Fuzzer for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Fuzzer. Welcome, welcome. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. I can't already do it today. Hey, asshole. I know you're in there. Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago. Cough it up, you bastard. Ah, it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and... The day before that, I've been borrowing from so many different places. I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, are the actual what sharks? What am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. Uh, uh. So he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Are loan sharks even real? Or is that just, just a bit that media does to get people into bad financial uh, positions? I can't imagine like being like, you know what? It's going to work out for me. Are they still real now? Was it like a, an olden timey thing? The banks are the loan sharks now? I guess it depends on what your perception of like a loan shark is, yeah. You know Mafia is still a thing. Who's going to the Mafia for a loan? How do I get in touch with the Mafia for a loan? Dial 1-800-MAFIA. Hello Mafia, I would like some money. That's what I mean. Joe, you're so suburban. I think I may be suburban about this, but like I'm asking, I'm curious. Student loans in America? The student loan sharks? Yeah, that's true. Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? W what are you talking mm. about? I would never do something like that! I tried asking Kameji more questions. But no matter how much I questioned him, he didn't admit to any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key to Shoma's heart. Sometimes you take credit at a normal bank. Okay, normal is in air quotes. Do you actually mean a normal bank or is it not a normal bank? And when you can't pay up the bank, then sell your debt to loan sharks who will do who will then do loan shark things and threaten you to recover the money. So I know about collections agencies. That's a different thing than a loan shark, right? So you might get into debt at at a normal, like just, just for like a credit card or a normal bank. And then you might have to d contend with like violent people coming to your house trying to make you to pay. I don't think that can't happen, can it? Can't that only go to a collection agency? Maybe this is just a Canada thing, I don't know. I think maybe some things are being conflated here, but it also could just be different, different uh, parts of the world. 
something that happens all the time. Yeah, I know that. I'm, I'm, but we're talking specifically about like, like sending to a loan. To me, a loan shark is someone who's incredibly violent, who's going to be like, like physically, like knocking on your door. Where is it? If you don't pay, we're gonna fucking rough you up. That, that sort of thing. That to me is different than a collections agency. I can't imagine. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't imagine you, you, um, you can't pay your, your, your phone bill, right? Or your credit card bill, and they sell that debt to to a loan shark, and then suddenly you have to deal with that shit. I can't imagine that happening. I don't think that happens in Canada. Collections agencies, that does happen. I define a loan shark as someone offering a loan at exorbitant rates that you go to as a last resort. The violence is secondary. Yeah, there's also that that interpretation of it too. Yeah, I feel like the shark in, involves uh, implies amount some amount of violence though. I don't know. Unable to find any clues to leading to the key to Shoma's heart. Joe, are you involved with some shady people? Just you guys. Huh. Shoma isn't here. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Excuse me. Meiji and Shoma, huh? It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and asked again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Why is he so much in debt? Is he buying robot parts for his kid and not telling him that's where the parts are coming from? What kind of lie do you make usually? Uh, where's where's the Witcher 3 one? Where's the Witcher 3 one? Lie that makes a person fail. Yeah, in this case, it's, it's me. You're a terrible human. I hope the devil pulls your tongue out. Where's your name lie? Yeah, we should, we should have went with that one. Why are they, like, grayscale? More simulation shit? Was the stage like that last time? Check evaluation. Uh, you can probably unlock new outfits already. Uh, do we want those? Class up. Mizuki outfit, Ryuki, Ryuki outfit, cat ears. Okay. You have the privilege of entering my room because you're special. Tama. Why do you always talk about that kind of thing? What kind of thing? I want to hear you say it. Oh, that, that was it. Oh, okay. How about I take it all off instead? There we go. Okay, no new outfit. It's no, <sighs> no new cat ears or anything. Oh, you're a zombie now. Oh, okay. I need to unlock it. How do I unlock it in the menu? Oh, in the bonus menu. Oh. Nah, I'm good. Let's do it. Cat ears, mermaid outfit, cat paws, and tail. Good choice. Hmm, pants aren't bad either. Welcome home, Sea King. How about we make out? Okay. Meow meow. Cat ears. Body. Cat Her. ears and Her. tail. Tail, you say? I don't see any tail. Welcome. Come. I will be your opponent. Oh, now I see the tail. Okay. This white part? You can paint it whatever color you want. What do we think, mm. chat? Pants aren't bad either. The clothes, home, the outfit, the mermaid outfit looks awful on her. Come, I will. Be this Honestly, white I think part, that looks just best right now. You can paint it whatever color you want. What does Tab do? Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, that. Uh, okay. All right. Trash can. All right, let's get out of here. Feeling good, Tama? I always feel good. Joe, I am begging you. We've done zero progress. Through. What do you mean? We've been doing lots of scenes. What are you talking about? Huh? We're gonna do lots of progress right now. Ricky? Lots of progress. So much progress here? is gonna happen. To question so people for the investigation. Right so Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Yes, I find it quite soothing, and it energizes me. I'm just tagging along. Alright. That he makes sense. Up. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? 
Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. How did that end? Nice, bro. It's Mizuki. She's looking around curiously. I can't even begin to imagine her taking her taking care of children. But she'll kick me if I say that, so I'll keep it to myself. Oh, so you want to get kicked? Your thoughts are written all over your face. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry for spam, but do you have any advice for covering plot holes when writing? Like, do you want to do a lot of planning, or do you want to do a lot of editing, or are you the kind of person who likes to do both? Because if you are, you're the rarest snowflake that is a writer. Very, very difficult to, to be able to do both. Most people like planning, and most people, uh, either one or the other. If you do a lot of planning, you can cover a lot of plot holes. You will still have to do some amount of editing. Just like if you like to do editing, you, you, um, you still have to do some amount of planning. Um, just because you don't like it doesn't mean you can't force yourself to do it. Like, um, uh, editing a draft is not my favorite thing to do either uh, when it comes to fiction. When it comes to, uh, like, scripts, I actually enjoy it quite a bit. Um, but uh, you can still force yourself to do it, right? Just leave them in. If you're writing anime, yeah, you can just leave them in and no one will care. Uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? Is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. Hmm. Hmm. I'd love to. Indeed. We have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals. What? Or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. What? Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continue to interact, we have come to form a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. She was pretty direct about it. Yep. That old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. You mentioned you were questioning people. Is someone here related to the case? I'm here to talk to your father, Mr. Richi Chieda. What? My father? Yeah, I heard he's here. He is, though I believe he is currently in a meeting. Richie? I see. Then I guess I'll wait until he's done. Uh-oh. She didn't like that. I'm starting to think it's not Boss's daughter. Just kind of has some, some similarities. Huh. I thought the big sis thing was, was like, because now she's living with Boss, maybe? I don't know. Like, Or maybe that hasn't happened yet. I, I actually am not clear what's going on here. I don't like how they're continuing this from the first game. It's it's almost as if the first game didn't happen. But it also did, because they talk about the new Cyclops killings or whatever. I don't... Uh, I, I don't know. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Well, what? You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. But I'm always like this. So, now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. Wait, where are you looking, perv? Huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. How, Doesn't it hurt? How, 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 what? How can you see it? What? What are you talking about? You didn't do x-ray vision. How did you survive a shot to the leg? What plot hole is this? See what I mean? Chatter this. Sometimes, like, you can have, like, characters take a bullet to the leg and they don't die. That's a plot hole, and some people will just be like, ah, I don't care. They'll just they'll just gloss over it. So you have to choose what plot holes you want to spend time fixing. No, not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. If you're uh, not here for every stream, this is a reference to the Life is Strange 1 playthrough where Chad argued legitimately, genuinely, that a shot to the upper thigh is more dangerous and more lethal than getting shot in the torso. This has been a meme update announcement from the streamer, Jay Andy. 
School's closed because of the flu. We won't have classes for a while. Then aren't you supposed to stay at home? A certain freeloader is at home all the time because he's on vacation. He's on vacation. He's so annoying. I had to get outside. She must mean Mr. Date. Young girls have wells of their own. You freeloader, you're like a like a multi-million, possibly billionaire. Like like your his apartment is peanuts to you. Who gives a shit? Why you been like this? He's taking care of you? I actually know he's pretty bad at that. You know what, Mizuki? Maybe you have a point. Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. Is he still sleeping on the couch? Yeah, like for years! So what is it you she wish to he, he let her have the bed and he slept on the couch. Father. And who is this? Mr. Ryuki from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. Huh, are we going to the Cloud District? It's a pleasure to meet you. Anime Tom Hardy? My name is Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. May I ask you some questions? That's fine, but I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation, you're also the chief director of Iowan and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. He obviously doesn't respect us. Is he? I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. No, I'm not seeing this a lack of respect. I'm seeing this, this dude's busy and you're just repeating his titles and he already knows it. Get with the program. Just ask him what you want to ask him. What are you doing? A police officer is probably like an ant to him. Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. I suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. As a citizen, I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Ugh. <laughs> Game, how are you making me side with the rich guy in the first interaction? What, what's, what's going on here? Like, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, hey. Look. Who's that? The president of Nice Japan. Nice? I'm not familiar. Lie. I've never even heard of it. Lie. Lie. Oh, the mouse problem. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Of course mm. I knew of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. Hmm. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. What, how, like, how do you know? Maybe they, maybe they met at a bar. Maybe they, they met old school. Do you have an alibi? Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was deceased, quite... Deceased Chikara. Well, an eccentric individual. And? I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. He seemed to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. However, I gained nothing from his death. I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. In other words, I am a victim as well. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Seriously, what is up with this guy? Well, let him cook. Let him. If only he didn't have so much authority. We could pin something on him and book him. What? Fucking, fucking proving his point. What are we doing? What are we? Well, hold on now. I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the research institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? I explained the information about Chikara that Tama had obtained. Man, Al Samian Files 2 coming in fast and hot with an impossible problem for chat. What do you hate more, chat? Cops or rich people? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I don't know what to do. Sweaty button pressing gif about the dubious research that he had been conducting. About the rumors of human experiments and that his research facility was forced him to shut down nine years ago, along with the fact that Chikara disappeared in order to avoid being investigated, and that the current research institute was built after the heat from that incident had settled did down. Did you know all of this? I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. 
That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Shikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. It's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues, and I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, I invested in the future that research institute could bring us. Tama, is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. Hmm... What about an, an, an adopted family member? Are you checking for that? What about an off-the-books family member? His only daughter is completely healthy. Only daughter. And his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. Well, half of her did. What were you doing two days ago? February 11th, around 8 p.m. And on February 9th, at 6 a.m. <laughs> hmm, so he supports curing incurable diseases, yet he doesn't have one himself. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> there's, there's no way that a rich person would fund fund the research of something if it wasn't directly related to him. There's, this is, uh, something's going on here. This is really suspicious that you're probably right for the story. <laughs> What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes. Yes, well, it's only a formality. I see, the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Tama? I just checked. He's telling the truth. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in each location. Okay, so you're that good at doing this shit, and yet mm -hmm. we haven't checked the playback of when we were in in the warehouse underneath the, the, the secret basement with the gas leak in it under under Nizet Law's uh, office. Haven't played that back, haven't even talked about that, haven't even been like, hey, who was that? What happened? Like, what? What, what is it? No, it's just, is this your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Uh -huh. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Ryuki, I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. So many off-screen characters being introduced in this story. What would you do to reconstruct that town? Also, like, Date, like, like demoted to a fucking off-screen character. Um, we did Casino last time. Factories aren't really good until you have a lot of them. One factory doesn't really do much for you. You need a lot of bonuses before factories start popping off. Uh, red light, l red light district. So, so would do that. People will come naturally. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. No way. I'm not close, close to done asking the question Z. I'm curious about everyone else's answer. So we'll go on a journey to the other world line E. I'll be going now. Okay. Right now we have Iba E. Do you like insects? All right. Iba loves insects. Like. I'll enjoy drinking with you, E. Is this fun? I mean, it's a nice little break from, from playing the game because, you know, the pacing is so fucking relentless that you need to have a breather now and then. No matter how much wealth you have, there is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. Hmm. Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somazuki. You remember him, don't you? I was at work today and an older gentleman asked me what the fives on each of my elbows mean, the tattoos, right? I had not prepared for what for that and didn't have the heart to tell him nor any idea on how to explain it even if I wanted to. So on the spot I said, it's uh, cause my mom and sister were both born on May 5th. 
because that's the first thing that came to mind apparently. What? Your mom is your sister? What the hell? Okay. Those tattoos paying dividends, huh? Yes. I will never forget. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved. And the child is still missing to this day. What a Yaya raid. Painful memory. Uh-oh. It makes my heart ache. How's it going, Raiders? Oh, it's Super Eye Patch Wolf. How's it going? That one's that one's my favorite. Where she goes, Aya ya. That's the best Aya ya. Should we rank the Ayayas? Should we go full NL? Ayaya tier list? As the chairman, I take full responsibility. But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? After mobilizing so the investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. <laughs> What do you think, Tama? Uh... He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. Good buddy, how are you? Uh, I had probably the most uncomfortable stream uh, ever today. We, we were speaking about something extremely uh, not safe for work at the beginning of stream today, and I regret doing it because I feel like I... You ever, you ever take a joke too far or you like go across the line? And you know that you shouldn't, but you go a little too far with it. That's what happened today, and I feel I'm feeling pretty uncomfortable still after after that. It was perfect. It was not perfect. Do not do not try to encourage me or enable me. We le we legit genuinely went a little too far today at the beginning of stream. Okay, but since then it's 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 been pretty good. This game is kind of kind of losing me a bit. It's kind of boring actually. I was expecting it to be more more wacky. The first one I, I really enjoyed the first one until the ending. Like I feel like the first one knew what it was, whereas this one I don't know what they're trying to do with this one. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Though it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. Are we done here? We've wasted enough time, I think. I'll be going now. F -f 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 Father! Oh, because he wants he wants to marry her, that's why. Please let me marry your daughter. Can't wait for them to actually get I together at the end. I swear I'll give her a good life. I swear it to the heavens. So please, please give me permission to marry your daughter. Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, father. <laughs> wait, wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! We met at Matsushina Diner two days ago! You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow. That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. I've never sucked anyone's blood! I don't think he was being literal. I do. No job, no education, no manners. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic. And you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. How rude! I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter. In any case, stay away from my daughter. No, it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. Anyone else think it's cute that they're color coordinated? They're kind of matching. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, hey! Family uniform. Aww. Gizzy's dad must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. What? I've been here before, but this was my first time meeting Mr. Chieda. Though... Hmm. Hmm. That guy from Matsushita Diner is kind of a weirdo, isn't he? He doesn't seem like a bad person, but... That is how my father always is. Uh, Mr. Ryuki, is my father related to the case somehow? It's still hard to say. I see. Family uniforms are rad. Kate is probably gonna make us all have family uniforms when we get older. I don't, I don't know where the fashion sense comes from because, like, I have absolutely no fashion sense. Like, Lily has some amount of fashion sense, but 
most of the time she just can't be bothered, I guess. Like, she, like, she understands it, but she's like, eh, whatever. Like, Kate is just like, I don't know where it comes from. Just, like, she knows so much about it already intuitively. She's only four, and she, she has such strong opinions on, on how to dress and present herself. He has been following me around since we met at Matsushita Diner two days ago. Great, a stalker. Considering how persistent he is, I may have to deal with him as a cop. Can you give us some tips? No, but my four-year-old could. Oh, actually, he was so persistent that I allowed him to consider us friends for the time being. Seems like this girl's problematic in her own way. Are we gonna do a Somnium today? Oh, it's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. Not that I want to be connected with the dude. What? Dude. You know what? I'm on, I'm on Team Kizzy's dad. L L no, go away. What the hell? Uh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. Uh, that wasn't the issue. Meeting the parents is a once-in-a-lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit. I'm sorry, how is this the most high-res texture in the whole entire fucking game? Look at this! I can read it! Why, why did this get so much attention? But I'm definitely gonna get his approval next time we meet. Okay. That's some real positive thinking. He's not gonna remember you, bro. I'm right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. Maybe you can learn something from him, Ryuki. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. Ah. You were at Matsushita Diner too, weren't you? Yeah, why? Um, wait. Uh, what's this called again? Rendezvous? Good song. What? Just a rendezvous. Thank you, Domek, for getting us up to Super Eye Patch Wolf. Welcome, welcome, Super Eye Patch Wolf. Thank you, Domek. And thank you, Bad Blood C, for the resub. Thank you very much. Also, for some reason, I clicked on my on my notification feed the other night, and someone gifted me a sub to to it's me JP. So thank you for doing that. I can go use it's it's JP's emotes now. Thank you. No, that's not it. A uh, flirtily. What the hell is this guy talking about? I have no idea. Uh, I almost have it. It's right at the back of my uvula. Can I choke slam him? Please do. As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago, at Matsushita Diner. When I saw her, <laughs> it was love at first sight. And I tried to get her attention. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. When she boarded a train, I spent all my money to get on the same one. When she went in the girl's bathroom, I followed her. Ryuki, cuff it. But decided not to go inside. Even though she kept ignoring me, I never gave up trying to talk to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. So, you gave in. You set a bad precedent there. However, I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work, let alone be friends with them. Yeah? But I was here yesterday, so... It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However... And yet you said you could be strictly friends. How curious. That does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. I want to stay by your side. Kizzy's kind of weird. My name. Lian is spelled L-I-E-N. In French, Lian means bond. Just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Well, well, how about it? <laughs> That's destiny, right? Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. Oh, she's convinced. Uh-oh. All right, uh, I, I don't like you <laughs> at all. What the hell is this? Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? Mm -hmm. in the place I worked was Horadori Institute. What? I actually used to be a thief. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. I used my skills Holy to shit. borrow valuables. That's a great Silent Hill reference. Good job. I've gone clean, of course. 
I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. I was so stupid back then. And I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Chikara Horidori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. Damn it. It's just not fair. I've been working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. Whoa! That's when an angel appeared before me. Me? <laughs> That's right, Kizzy. You! I felt saved. I wanted to give it my all and live again. You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Huh? Oh, hold on! Don't tell me you broke into someone's house! N no That's not wrong, but... It's wrong! It's true that I opened a lock and broke in somewhere, but I wasn't committing a crime! What were you doing then? The thing is, last night... Last night? Last night? You broke into a house? No, a freezer! No! N not a house. A freezer. Uh, I guess I have to say it. I broke in to Horadori Institute. Uh oh. What? Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute, but in the end. We didn't find anything, so I didn't take anything either. Okay, we, we, we asking what police officer you were with. Was it Date? Was he drunk? Like, what, what, what's going on? Please believe me. Wait, who asked you to do this investigation? Boss? I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. Secret? You just told us the whole thing. Anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. At all. Very well. I will trust you, Leon. Oh, thank you! You really are an angel, Kizzy! More like lion. Okay. Alright, well. Oh, crap. I forgot to mention something important. That took five times longer than it should have. I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but here it goes. Kizzy, please marry me. Wait a minute. Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Please, accept. I... I... cannot accept that. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. Adequate? What? Kizzy? You mean, you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? Well... Five years... No, perhaps six. Six, yeah. If after six years you still feel the same way, then... Okay, got it. Then I'll take good care of this for six years. What? Seriously? And it's a six-year time jump when we play as Mizuki. All right, cool. What if you lose them or break them? Hey, I have a good idea. Oh? I'll take care of them. There. I put the glass slippers in there and the letters. I wrote out how I feel now in one of the letters and in the other. I have written how I currently feel in that letter. This is a time capsule. We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. If you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years. Yeah, then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then... perhaps... Huh. Right. I know those you know, two have to be a five, six, seven, eight, nine. One I didn't of those know you two. you had the sort of sign to you, Ryuki. That's one, two, three. That one's either a five or a okay. seven. Okay, I'm burying it now. It's nine plus two plus either one or three. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Six years! 
Six years is a pretty long time. You sure you're still gonna feel the same way? Of course. My love is eternally undying. Puncture the forehead, huh? kick like a war. Kizuna, what's wrong? Oh, that again. What? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? It's kind of like that. Uh, I don't get it. She's peeing? Just watch. Let us begin. Start the music! Really bad chat. What are they doing? I thought it was picking up when we, when we found uh, Tokiko half dead, and then and now like it's, this has been terrible for the whole the whole stream. It's been bad. Life is Strange 2 tier. Well, let's not go resetting DKP. It's, it hasn't been that bad. There's been some times where it's been funny and we've laughed this stream, okay? It's been it's been bad, but it hasn't been that bad. Uh-oh. Leaf. Time skip. Time lapse. Here we go. Six years later. You're playing at a snail's pace to be fair. I don't think I am. I thought so two days ago, too. You really are good at dancing, Kizuna. Thank you. Yeah. That was seriously amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I need to get going now. Yeah, see you later. Have a nice day. Good luck with the investigation. You talked about loan sharks for so long. That's every stream. Every stream we talk about bullshit. That's accounted for. It's always like that. You didn't get anything useful for the case. There are some things that I've been thinking about, though. The biggest one being... The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. A hidden room inside Horadori Institute? We have to look into this. After hearing about something like that. Well, I suppose so. Okay, we're gonna find another half of a body. Somnium? What are we doing? We just walked in? No one here. It's past business hours, so they probably all left. But the lights are on. Maybe someone forgot to turn them off? The entrance wasn't locked, too. I think someone forgot to lock it. There weren't any guards around. Must be on vacation. No, oh, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, you're right. Something is clearly wrong. It's as if someone is inviting us inside. A trap, maybe? For who? And why? No one could have known we were coming here. Then maybe it's for welcoming someone other than us. Who's there? Ryuki, living organism detected. They're alone. They must be hiding somewhere. How do you know they're alone? Oh, F1, here we go. What food do you like? What food does Iba like? Salty, bitter, spicy, sweet. Do we remember? I want to answer them like we're Iba. She can't taste. Yeah, but she still has opinions. Sweet? Okay, let's go with sweet. I remember the taste of my first lovey. All right, there we go. How do I x-ray?
There you are. Hey, I know you're there. Oh god, it's not Come a mask. Kameji. What is he doing here? What do you mean? It was unlocked when I got here. Telling lies? Uh, yes. Can we have a pee break? I'm exploring. What, what are you exploring? Piss? L l what? We're almost done soon. Half an hour. You just hold it. I think he's at home right now. Oh, ex exploding! Okay, that, that makes more sense. No, apparently I've been uh, snail space. We have to pick it up. Let's go. Who knows? I don't even know myself. Full stream ahead. Before I knew it, I found myself here. Uh, maybe my brain is messed up from all the drinking. He's clearly lying. He's obviously hiding the real reason he's here. Now, how to make him talk? He may be hiding something on his person. Let's find out. Uh, is that? Why does he have that? It's a bomb. Kameji, what are you hiding in your pocket there? I... I don't know what you're talking about. It's no use trying to hide it. What you have there, it's a pistol, isn't it? Kameji, can you please tell me what's going on? <laughs> and then Otis sneaks up on us with a frying pan. <laughs> I would love that, actually. That would be really funny. Why does he look like this? Is it so we, like, kind of understand why Shoma hates him or something? Like, what's going on here? I need answers! But he's completely hysterical. We won't be able to talk to him like this, and we can't wink sync either. Then, we're only left with one choice. Ryuki, <laughs> sync with him. <laughs> what? Somnium, somnium. <laughs> How is that the only choice? Is he sedated? Oh, boss is here this time. All right, I think I get the picture. This is the most confusing Somnium. Someone says that every Somnium! For some reason. And he even had a gun on him. So, you want to find out why? That's right. Okay, the preparations are complete. Let's get right to it then. Ryuki, I'm sure you already know this. <laughs> the time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes, I know. Okay, <laughs> then let's begin. Quit stream right now? What what number is next to you? Super stand up battle! Can Tama win for a fifth week in a row and take the seat of grand champion? Stand up show veteran, Tama! Hey yo, I'm Tama! What is this? They say giving birth is extremely painful and men can't handle the pain. Any raiders still here that weren't here for the stream before this? This is Tama. One day, a genius scientist created a device that could share the pain of giving birth with the father. His first test subject was his wife. His wife was about to give birth, so he decided to try out the device. But for some reason, he felt no pain. Something wrong with the equipment? He upped the power to 10%, then 20%, until he reached 100%, right when she gave birth. And right after that, his assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. Well, what's the result? 143. Too bad. No grand champion for you. Oh, uh, why? That wasn't funny at all. I think you're more suited for an assistant director position. What do you mean? Hey, 
Hey, assistant directors are the directors of the future. Don't underestimate me. Andy's Komeji, on the street. Shut up! What is it now? Oh, Komeji? Let's go! Today we'll be walking around an area that's truly memorable to me. Oh, we are doing a Somnium here. Okay. There just aren't rooftop amusement parks like this anymore, you know? A walk-around comedy show with Andy's Komeji. I didn't know he was on one of those. He isn't. This is just his dream. Dream in both senses of the word. It's his dream to have a show like this. Hmm. It's kind of pathetic. Tama, what are you holding in your hand? Hmm, what is this? A sketchbook? Well, anyway, we will, uh... Komeji's stumbling over his words. The sketchbook is a cue card. Tama, you're an assistant director now. You should send him a message using the cue card. This calls for... Say something funny. You gotta break through to him. <sighs> I never intended on being an assistant director. That's fine. This is a very story-heavy Somnium. Say something funny? What do you mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? That's... What's going on? Ryuki, we need to do our thing. Right. Do it, Tama. Somnium scan, activate! Burning! Hey, someone knew the song. You're a nut. You're crazy in the coconut. What is that mean? In this world, inundated with Yoniharu's ideals, find out the truth and get information on what he is hiding. Let's start there. If we're going to talk about Andy's Komeji, we can't miss that place. Let's follow him. Okay, then. It's my show, so how about I go to the next filming location so the staff knows where it is and the crew chases me. Why did all the fucking around moments ago not count for the six minutes? Tama moved. Yeah, that I don't. I it, who cares? <laughs> Fast and loose with the rules. I guess this is an entry gate. It's really cheaply made, and it's pretty old. Is there anything strange about it? Maybe any signs of people breaking in? I don't see anything. I see. Searching Excuse it me. now won't make anything happen. Searching it now. Okay. So what are we supposed to do here? Oh. It's one of those mini trains that runs along a railroad. Adults can ride it too. Though it would be embarrassing for most adults. I'm sure it's for riding along with your kid. But if you have the heart of a child, you can do it. I left my boyhood heart in the past, along with my tidy whities Is that why you wear loincloths now? I don't wear loincloths. Yet. Yet? Did you leave your heart in the other half of the body that was removed from yourself? Okay, I don't know what to do. Fans are important to Komiji. Do we talk to people? There's some vending machines with simple snacks and drinks and seats to rest. Back in the day, at bullet train stops in the country, this kind of rest area was common. If the great Andy's Komeji showed up here, it would fill up with people wanting his autograph. But there's nothing we can do here now. Hmm. Seems like we have to do something and then come back. Okay, there he is. He's got a good amount of fans. Oh, well, hello, hello! Komeji is back on stage! So, for the first time in a while, I want to show you a skit. Assistant Director Tama, show the cue card again. Got it. Dead. Quiz. Bring audience up on stage. Super funny gag. Let's do quiz. Let's turn our square head circle. It's quiz time. Who is the comedian who's good at super funny gags and is on a roll right now? Joe. It's me. <laughs> I want to become an something comedian who doesn't refuse something and something. Hmm. 
Super funny gag. Bring audience up on stage. Let's do super funny gag. Don't you all want to hear a certain something? God of energy, inti, inti, hachaka max! <laughs> hey lady, you're gonna get tired standing there. There's an open seat right in the front row. Not only can you take a load off, you can watch my super funny skit. Oh, um, okay. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. When we saw him in person, there weren't too many people watching him. But why not? He's funny. Okay, but in any case, he never really had a big audience. <laughs> so something can trigger a flashback. The trigger is... Now that I've shared my roots, let's head over there. Komeiji is on the move. Get after him. The trigger is him telling jokes. Ooh, I've already worked for five minutes. It's time for a break. Oh, too early for a break? Komeiji's older, so he gets tired quick. He's just joking. You shouldn't take him seriously. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with the marker in your hand? Let's show him a cue card. Tease the amateur. Why did you come to Japan? Autograph. All right, are we trying to get memories from from him? Autograph. I think it's probably going to be autograph. I kind of want to get the minus ten though. Minus ten would be pretty good to have later, and it might be that one. So let's do it. Hello, you look pretty old. Uh, <laughs> what is it that you do? Oh, so you fillet flounders? Uh, what kind of job is that? They're already so thin. Good luck with that. Uh, see you later. You don't want an autograph? No? No. Huh. That was a crazy job. Have you ever heard of a job like that? Hmm. I thought the strange nature of the job would give him more material to work with. Can you focus on clues and information? Not try to improve the show? You lose 15 to get minus 10? We lose, we lose 15 to get minus 10, and that might have been the right option. So it's only costing us five seconds to see if it is. It, it, I, I work in genius ways, okay? Get on my level. So what am I supposed to do? Relax. Komeiji seemed to really want to give out an autograph. An autograph. Autograph. Who doesn't refuse autographs and... Uh, interacts with fans in a fun way. All right, so it's it's definitely gonna be. Um, yeah, yeah. What why are you did you doing come to with Japan? the marker in your hand? Ryuki. Right. All right. Should we use the minus ten? We might as well do it. We might as well do it. Oh, the savings. You look like you want an autograph. All right, all right. So where do you want me to sign this? The co-signee section. Yes, yes. No worries. Anything for a friend. But I do have a family to think about, so you better not ditch me. Uh-oh. I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> Ooh, this one branches. That's interesting. What does Kojiji want the most? What does Kojimi want to protect? Komeiji became a co-signee and took on someone's debt. What an idiot. Of course they'd take off on him. But hey, now we know how to trigger these flashbacks. Yeah, the cue has to link to the memory of his past. Right, let's keep going. I like the um the circle showing what it's what reality is really like as we walk around. That's neat. They actually sell balloons here. When's the last time you paid for a balloon? That's a good point. Don't agree with him. Give him a cue. Buy balloons. Inflate a balloon. Fly with balloons. It's definitely got to be buy balloons, right? We got to buy some balloons. Okay, well, it's not going to be fly with balloons. You're never going to fly with a balloon. So is inflate a balloon like he's remembering in what one time that he did it himself instead of buying one? Or is it buy balloons he's remembering a time when he bought balloons in the past? It's, it's one of those two. Maybe it is this one. Let's go with buy balloons, and if it's this one, then we get to save 10 seconds. Oh, 
All right, let's buy one. You can't get enough of these. Wait, this is coming out of my own wallet? It, it's not coming out of the show budget? What, is the budget that tight? Oh, well, I'll buy it with my own money. Ah, a run-of-the-mill balloon. Very normal. The kind you take home, and the next morning it's shriveled up and on the ground. And after thinking about what to do, you put it on some old hag's head. What am I talking about? <laughs> I guess he wants us to make him do something funnier. More TV-friendly. TV-friendly, huh? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, so... Blow up your own balloon or fly with balloons? They actually sell this last That's a good key. Honestly, maybe it is fly with balloons. How is that a memory though? Did he fly with balloons in a skit? It's been all all of them have been on the right so far. It's gotta be inflate balloon, right? It can't be fly with balloons. Anyway, they're gonna let me make a balloon today. So, can I give it a shot? interest my debt isn't getting any smaller what is a blacklist I, I can't borrow any more money where can i get more money sell half of your body to medical you science let me borrow money really oh thank you thank you the debt got bigger and bigger and he couldn't borrow any more money from regular lending companies that's why he started borrowing from shady people hey who is that over there who could it be uh, do we have a guest today? Tama, the person standing there is... Is this the same scene we saw at the beginning of the Somnium? We couldn't hear then, but I wonder if we can hear this time. Yeah. Okay, so we haven't gotten to the part where it diverges yet. What do you think of shrimp? Tasty, hard to eat, hard red. What does Aiba think of shrimp? She doesn't like that she's called a shrimp all the time, right? Someone in chat just said red, we'll go with that. It's being heated -y. I became a childy. Tell me more. Oh, now we're Iris. God damn it. Hello, what is it? Uh, do you need something from me? Hello, this is Chow Chow Finance. Mr. Komeji. Oh, you're late on your payments. Oh, yes. I'll pay you back no matter what. So please, uh... Are you sure? I've heard that from you enough times already. At this point, I guess we have no choice. Maybe we'll have to get your family involved. Oh, what does that mean? What does that Mr. mean? Mr. Kumeji, if you can't pay back what you owe, this is what happens. Do you understand? In any case, Yonoharu Inda, good luck. Shoma. Shoma! What? What should I do now? What? It's an opportunity for a cue. Prepare the money, protect Shoma. I think we should protect Shoma. 1 6. Are we going to get a better 1 6 later? Probably, right? 25 seconds? 25 seconds is not that long. I'm going to say protect Shoma. I have tons of ways to get money, but Shoma. Shoma is my one and only son. Let me through. I need to protect Shoma. Okay, there we go. All right. What's the other one like? Eh, he'll be fine. If Shoma isn't with me, then what is the point of my life? Something and something. Alright, take a ride with him on the train? Shoma is nowhere to be seen. I guess this is like a mini mini train. We're here now. Komeji is back to hosting his show. Small talk, ride it. Are you the conductor? Definitely ride it, right? Ride it? One six? One six here? Yeah, let's do it. Adults can ride this? Really? Today on Car Window from Another World, we're on a trip from Berlin to Prague. What is Shoma doing there? Uh, wait! Shoma! Wait! 
Okay, I was starting to get worried that that wasn't the answer. Holy crap. All right, we found Shoma. All right, what's next? How do we have fewer people here from the Somnium than we do for the for the, the boring part before the Somnium? People hate Somniums. Bunch of anti-pewters in chat. I'm tired from all the pedaling. I'm already regretting this. Look, Shoma is pedaling. Who cares about the show? Get after Shoma. <laughs> Apple users. All right, Chase, talk to the customers. Say something. Uh, say something relatable. I think Chase, right? Definitely Chase. Shoma, wait for me. You'll let me borrow money? Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can buy school supplies for Shoma with this money. I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> How am I supposed to celebrate Shoma's birthday? It's tomorrow. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. I can't buy anything for Shoma. I want to be successful. I need this money. All for Shoma. I don't care what happens to me as long as I have my boy. Shoma, are you there? Hold on, Shoma. I'm gonna save you. A Ferris wheel. I remember Shoma saying he liked them. I wouldn't get on one with Comedia alone, though. Don't think about that now. Okay, but... We have. We have. We've done that. 12 minutes has done irreparable damage to these streams. This is one of my favorites. The Ferris wheel. I like things that go in circles. Shoma's getting on. Hopefully he'll make it. We're running out of time. This is probably the end. Chase. Joke about the size. Reminisce. Okay, it's gotta be Chase, right? Like, uh, uh what the f- Like, it's been- Okay, uh, it's been mostly logical so far. Would they really throw a curveball at you at the very end like this? They might actually, but whatever. Like it, it has to be Chase. Do I need to watch this 12 minute stream? What's everyone talking about? Don't do it. Don't do it. Shoma! What is it, dad? Shoma? It's okay. I'm going to protect you. Protect me? What are you talking about? What kind of head did the mom have to have for him to come like out with I a normal said, head? I'm here for you. You'll be fine. What are you talking about? I'm fine. I can ride the Ferris wheel by myself. No! That's not what I'm talking about! Shoma! Uh-oh, did we get it wrong? Where are you? Where did you go? What's going on? Hey, isn't that an envelope from Horidori Institute? Shoma! Where did you go? Shoma! Ryuki, we're out of time. All right, let's go. Oh, Tama. Tama actually cares. I'm surprised. Performance result. Persona? Great vegetables. What did you say? Great vegetables. Great vegetables. Whoosh. Haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Great vegetables. Great vegetables. You're right. Our bond. Kameji is still asleep. It's taking longer than usual for him to wake up for some reason. I thought we used the correct dosage, but perhaps his somnium has taken a toll on him. He's deet. Speaking of... What's going on? Shoma! Where did you go? Shoma! Yeah, we just saw it. That was an envelope from Horidori Institute. Maybe Kameji saw Shoma holding it. Shoma is related to Horidori Institute somehow? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. He lied about the hidden message in BATS 490 pointing to Horidori Institute. 
Maybe this is related. No point thinking about it. We'll have to ask Shoma directly. The problem is whether he'll answer. Why don't you have Komeji help? Komeji? But he and Shoma are in the middle of a fight. It might actually have the opposite effect. But he's still Shoma's father. Yeah, he should be able to get closer to Shoma's Maybe they grew Sh Shoma in the lab. Mm. He's like a Shroma. I guess so. Komeji should wake up in about an hour or so. Then let's go see Shoma as soon as he does. Okay. By the way, don't even think of... Komeji woke up and up about how we looked inside his head. I also told him about how I saw the envelope in Horidori Institute's secret document. Komeji told us he saw the contents of the envelope, but it was written in German, so he had no idea what it said. What? It's unknown whether Shoma can read German or not. But he surely has to know how to use a translation app, and it was highly likely that Shoma knows what it said. The dad didn't, though. In any case, we have to talk to Shoma. I told him that if he helped us convince Shoma, we'll, we'll, we'll overlook his possession of a firearm. We headed to the Enda household along with Komeji, but... Okay. Could... <sighs> Looks like Shoma isn't here. Huh. That's weird. He was definitely here when I left the house. What the... I have your son. If you want him back, you know what to do. It can't be! Terror. What did you say? What Terror did you say? took Shoma! Oh. Oh. Kameji, what's going on? Listen, Terror is the one who kidnapped Shoma. I'm sure of it. But the paper wasn't Soren. Ryuki, we need to it get. It was the you. Got it. So where is Shoma now? I found the GPS location on his smartphone. He's at Koto Ariake, the harbor warehouse district. Why didn't we look for that first? Kameji. <laughs> Shoma, Shoma, what have I done? Maybe Shoma is Terror, and he's using Kameji. his robots to move the bodies. Hmm. I found out where Shoma is. I'm going to get him. You stay here. I... I'm going to... Please, take me with you. No, it's too dangerous. You should leave it to the police. I don't care. I'm so much father. I can't just sit here and do nothing. No use trying to stop me. I'll cling to your bumper with my teeth if I have to. Fine. We have no time to yep, argue. Those are the teeth. Let's go. Woo! Faster this time. Okay. All right. We're over time, but let's see what happens. Maybe we can end on a cliffhanger. We're streaming tomorrow, by the way. Unless I don't wake up. What's going on here? At what time? Regular time. Excuse me. There's a good stopping point after the scene. Imagine knowing. There. Wait, didn't Joy, we do this already? Van. This is just yes, the first game again. He's not inside the van. How do you know? Where's Where's Miz do. Where's Mizuki and and the, anyway, the Yakuza? What's going on here? Protective suits they're wearing. Porno mag. They're definitely from Horadori Institute. Does this mean terror is related to Horadori Institute somehow? Most likely, yes. Shoma! Shoma! Oh, oh, wait, hold on. This has to be on purpose, right? Come this on. is. Damn it! Literally, what happened to Iris again? Uh, who's there? Stop! Shoma! Give Shoma back! Wait, are they literally the VLR suits? Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? They're the the They're very similar to it. Looks like they have no intention of talking it out. All the gang's all here. Ryuki. Take them out. Roger that.
behind you. Oh no! Phew. Kung Fu. Tama, help on it. Oh no! Oh no! Here we go. Three, two. So long, gay astronaut. Even the fight scenes are worse than the first game. Damn. Oh, Shoma's driving. Shoma. Wait, she is here. I'm so glad you're okay. By the way, are you okay, Missy? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Heard about as much as a hard potato chip stabbing my gums. Whoa, I'll that, the details, that hurts a lot. Mizuki has superhuman physical capabilities. Her combat skills are far greater than yours, too. Now that you mention it, Mr. Date said something like that before. Um... Mizuki. Who's well, who's playing this without uh, playing the first one? Honestly, thanks. maybe a better time if you hadn't. <laughs> Don't mention it. You help me with my homework and stuff all the time. Wait a second. Are you Soma's classmate? Well, yeah. Great classmate. More importantly, why are you here, Mizuki? Well, never mind. I don't think we have much time to talk. <sighs> Fido? Understood. I just received the order. They're all expendable if necessary, <laughs> including the hostage. <laughs> Kaneji, please hide inside the van with Shoma. Yes. Too, yes. What? You want me to hide too? You're kidding, right? Talking is a free action. Still in elementary school. I'll be in middle school in the spring. That's pretty much the same thing. Just stay out of this, Ryuki. I'll take care of it myself. There's no way. Then at least don't get in my way. Okay, let's go. Kill them. Moonrakers? What the? Mizuki. I thought they were grenade launchers or something. Displaying sights. Thanks, Tama. Up and enter. Space and enter. Z and C. Left and right. Z and C. Space and enter. Burning metal pipe. All right, okay. This is not very good. 
The ones in the first game were stupidly over the top on purpose because you knew that they were gonna fucking like win, so who gives a shit? Let's just go wacky and bizarre with it, it's just the tone. This is like trying to be cool and not pulling it off. Like this sucks. I won't let you lay a finger on him! Komeji! You gonna make a video on Baldur's Gate? Dude, why are you asking that in the middle of this? Dad. We're gaming. No. Shoma, are you okay? Well, I can make a video on Baldur's Gate one and okay, two, but not me? on three. Sorry, what I don't do that. You, Dad? Oh, I'm fine. I've been training my body by taking really, really hot baths. So, why did you? I have my reasons. Your reasons? Never mind that now. Look. Luke. It's not over yet. Impossible. How many are there? How many of them are there? Yeah. You. Me and Tama, man. Messy hair and blue hair. God, be more specific Take on the messy the hair. Take the old man and the boy to the limousine. I'll hold them off. Then I'm fighting too. I don't need a kid like you here. Go home and watch the Milky Moon anime or something. I'm not a kid. <laughs> then do as you wish. Like you have to protect yourself. Got it? Why are we doing three fights? Good stopping point after this, they said. Over soon, they said. I'm sorry, Lily. Okay. We'll be done soon. Let's begin. Run! Just leave him behind, it's too late. <sighs> oh, there's blood. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. This hurts about as much as my junior high finals essay <clears throat> being posted on the internet. You must be on the verge of death then. Anyway, this isn't looking good. Mizuki and the masked woman are fighting far away from here. They won't be able to assist us. Well, then I'll... Thanks for letting us rest. No, you have no chance with your injury. And if you don't make it, you'll put Shoma and Komeji in danger. Then... What do I do? Throw down your weapons. I'm giving it to the count of three. Man, these scientists Otherwise, are so good at fighting. You all die. Tom is gonna come out and fight. Let's go. Fine. One. Two. Three. Mama. So we're we're so back. We're back. I'll explain everything later. Yes, finally. <laughs> Hold on. Don't get hasty. I have some preparations to take care of. Throws the porno mag down. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh. <laughs> uh huh. I see. <laughs> no mag. Let's 
go! Instantly yeah. better. Fucking instantly better. Yeah, let's go! We're so back. good that was good <laughs> i found me Riku chapter 4 r2 <laughs> date residents oh we're so back holy shit on so many levels why are weep games so obsessed with not letting you play as the same character in the second game but no the third game you can be back Happy as them Valentine's Day. shut up what I mean, it's past midnight now, so the date changed. It's February 14th. I suppose it's a happy day for you, old man. You did get your boy back after <laughs> How are you here? <laughs> but, Ryuki... Don't We're worry, going back to Dante's age. place, you in? Mr. Dante oh, gave that's me first right, come along, don't worry. Well, you should get to the hospital right away. Yes, the bleeding may have stopped, but your nerves were damaged. If you leave it like that, the damage might be permanent. Yeah, I know. But first... I need to ask Shoma something. And her too. I did consider taking Shoma to the interrogation room for a Somnium, but he would be even less likely to talk in a gloomy place like that. Only one thing for it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Oh, Tamagotchi. All right. What kind of music do you like? Death metal, industrial, symphonic, grindcore, symphonic. It's like sponge cake E. All right. Nightmare blunt rotation right there. Aw, oh, dude. Aw, oh, that reminds me of a blunt rotation I was in one point, because I also got high at some point in the past. Right? Right? Yeah, you got those memories too, right? Right? I don't. Uh, I thought you liked Industrial Life too. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to answer for, for the character that the Tamagotchi is being, not not my answer. I'm, I'm seeing if it, if it does anything different. It doesn't seem like it does. Anyway, let's save it. All right. Date is saved. Do you like Rayman? What do you mean do I like Rayman? Why are you asking if I like Rayman? I like Rayman, Rayman Origins and Legends. I think I played those. Yeah, those are pretty good. I haven't only really played any of the other Raymans though. Alright, see you later. You all thought it was gonna cut off there where I was talking about Rayman. Why is that say that question, didn't you? That's what you thought.